There was a the, the part that I hated with that with the guy where before like previous episodes where I I kind of griped about how this guy doesn't remember like these crucial parts like of his like past mm-hmm. like of his memory he just forgets but he remembers mm-hmm. every damn item I know that they were destroying. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm oh, thinking, yeah. hey, man, this fucking putting more value on his you items than his life. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime East Cop Podcast, week 7 of the spring 2021 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Justin. Hey, guys. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right. Um, just, I guess, a couple of things, anime news. Um, I guess, hopefully, everyone, uh, I think everyone else knows uh, Berserk Manga. We were at a, the uh, fast way actually a couple weeks ago, but we only knew about recently. So, RIP to a legend. Rest in peace. I don't even to... watch the show, but I feel so bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with it. If it'll be left unfinished, or I'd also read that he did have some apprentices that mm-hmm. may have insight into how he wanted to take it. But mm-hmm. uh, that's always a tough thing, you know, to decide to, to finish somebody else's work. Mm-hmm. Well, with especially such for a, how long know, this has been going. Base and, yeah, how long it's been running. Yeah. yeah. Boy, we shall see, but I'm very sad indeed. Yeah. But it was yeah. awesome seeing a lot of the, uh, you know, contributions being made by other like artists and individuals in the industry of his work and just, you yeah. know, remembering him. Oh, yeah. So. yeah, I never read Berserk either, but like I know how much a big influence he is. So mm-hmm. I'd like to start reading it eventually or soon. But yeah, see, that was one, that was one of them. Like it was basically like Berserk and Hunter x Hunter are the two that you just kind of like waiting for it to actually see if it finishes. Because I, pref- I like, especially for like Hunter x Hunter, it's like I don't want to watch it, then I have to basically wait like everybody else's, and then just it just never being done or never yeah. being yeah. finished. Yeah, that's, really bad. that's why I never read it. I just heard it was so amazing, and I was like, I'm gonna wait. I can't wait. I'll be- lose my mind <laughs> if I have to wait for more to come out. So, yeah. especially when he decides to do something, it's like, oh, one chapter. It's like, all right, never mind. I'm gonna go on hiatus for about six months. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so, <laughs> so rest in peace, to the legend. Um. I guess the only other news we have a bunch of well, I mean big ones. Mushoku Tensei was delayed to October, so ripped yeah. for us because we were uh, we were <laughs> eagerly anticipating it this summer. No, uh, but uh, it's fine. Hey, we'll just... they want to keep the quality high, so yeah, yeah I'll take the that. time for the animators and everything. Do it. Yep. Yeah. So and then there was like, a bunch of other shows that were delayed too, but we'll we'll figure it out once we get there. So that's that's delays. And then only other one I think I have um, Demon Slayer Mugen Train, uh, the movie in the at least. Here in the US, uh, now it's the number two highest anime movie. It barely just beat out the Pokemon, I think, 2000 sequel. Because the first Pokemon, the first movie, was it's still the highest, 85 million. But now Demon Slayer is number two at 43.7. I think seven. And then Damn, Pokemon that's crazy two, how big 2000. The gap is. Yep, and then Pokemon 2000 is like 43.6, I think. So. I wonder how I wonder how close it could have been if you know COVID wasn't no a thing, COVID you know? and everything filling the. I yeah. think maybe like 50 to 60. I think Pokemon's really? one of those things that's like. Yeah, I don't think you can beat that. Like literal. It's gonna be really tough. Well, it's all ages uh, too. Demon Slayer exactly. is not all it's ages. R- 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 oh, I forgot Demon Slayer is R rated. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. help. Oh, was it really R rated? I didn't yeah, even notice that. Here. It's R rated yeah. here, even though like elementary kids love the movie in Japan. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. America. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. F. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. So that's gonna be it for the news. Uh, let's move on to our main shows. Where I start our first show, let's talk about Shadow's House. Shadow's House continuing in the maze. Um, still a great, still a great episode. Um, really love. I'm really loving the character dyna- dynamics between everybody. Um, both like the main core trio, um, Amiliko and Sean and Rum. They're they're all just so adorable together. I really like the, their genuine friendship. And uh, I'm kind of liking this developing friendship between Lou and Ricky as well. Their interactions are pretty adorable. Laugh out loud for me. And then also, I just am loving John. Like, he might be my favorite character, you guys. I mean, he's definitely the, you know, most flamboyant shadow master that we've come across so far. And, you know, yeah. obviously we've gotten insights into what he's trying to achieve. As I think last episode, you know, he's talking about becoming the king of shadows and, and mm-hmm. wanting to take Kate's hand as as his queen. So... He uh, he's definitely a unique individual to say the least. He makes for a good addition to the trio that he's you like, just mentioned, Taylor. He's like the most exciting of the Shadow Masters for me. So. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah. then I also I want to give a shout out to Rom because like I feel like she had a lot of character development this episode. Like we actually see her being capable and like uh like contributing a mm-hmm. lot. And so mm-hmm. I got I got apologize because I was shitting on her so much during this whole season. <laughs> but now it's like wow okay well you actually you can do stuff. Oh, yeah. The yeah, I like the fact brain. that they're all they're kind of all evenly matched. Like they're all bringing something to the table. And I really like the fact that like although Emilico is basically like the M- like maybe her and Kate are the MCs of the show technically, the focus is kind of on all of them, you know. She's not mm-hmm. super strong or super smart or anything obviously compared to the rest of them. She's Miss Sunshine, <laughs> kind of a goofball, but she still has her things she contributes. Yeah. Um, no, I, I think Miss Sunshine is, you know, the the perfect moniker for her, especially in the interaction that we saw between uh, her and Patrick. When mm-hmm. Rum and uh, Amilico come up on Patrick in the in the box, and Patrick wanting nothing to do with them, and Amilico, you know, still kind of extending the olive branch, so to speak, when he get when she gave her the um, the sunflower to keep him mm-hmm. company and the, the orange slices, which I thought was pretty funny. Her kind of wedging those down the little air hole that he had in his yeah. box. Yep, um, for sure. But man, I can't help but keep on, you know, drawing the comparisons. I think you know, even at the beginning uh, of this season, where. You know, I told you guys a lot of comparisons have been made to um, the Promised Neverland. And I think, you know, there is a lot of direct correlations, not only in like the suspense, thriller and kind of psychological side of things. But like Amilico feels a lot like Emma to me, where, you know, she really just tries to see the good in everything and really tries to bring people together. And I can't help but feel there's going to be something that just like absolutely destroys Amilico mm-hmm. coming down the line when she realizes, you know, hey, uh, everything yeah. can't always be sunshine and rainbows and that's, going, you know, your way. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, because I keep forgetting too, like, because like her character has been so like, like, like happy and cheerful. Like, I forget, like, yeah, that could be an instance later where like something bad just happens. We have to see how mm-hmm. she reacts to it. And, and I feel like Rum kind of knows something more because there was one scene, I think, from this week's episode where. Um, they were kind of talking about, you know, going their separate ways and in some part of the plan where they did pan to rum when they were saying like something of like, oh, we'll all get out of this together. And rum had like a very kind mm-hmm. of I don't know what the word to use for the look on her face was, but kind of like she knew, you know, things yeah. weren't going to kind of work out potentially. Um, mm-hmm. And then they pan to her shadow master, which we have had like no insight or ever heard mm-hmm. the shadow master speak. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm also kind of curious to see. Um, I wish there was a little bit more context with the shadows that we're seeing from inside the mansion that are watching all of this unfold. There were a couple of times that I had to pause and think, wait, who's Ryan? Wait, who's Dorothy? <laughs> and I, I don't know why. I, again, I'm a little distracted this week, but I just feel like it goes so fast with them. And we have very little context no. to work off with, with those people and yeah. what their places are. And like, especially when they sent that... Um, the crow, the, the yeah. The, when they sent the shadow or, crow, to yeah. The word or the crow over there. I, mm-hmm. I couldn't figure out like exactly why they sent it. Of course, the message was in their language, so I don't know what it said. And then I'm still not quite sure where Edward fits into all this with his reactions, where he just seems like annoyed by them, like they're just kinks in his plan when he yeah. should be a doll. Supposedly. I mean, they're, they're definitely trying to flush out more of the like cast system mm-hmm. within the shadow house and I, I think a good point that you bring up that we saw this week with the interactions of like the shadow lords is it very much seems that they have their own kind of favorites mm-hmm. so it makes me kind of think like what is you know kind of at stake here apart from mm-hmm. you know the five dolls and masters passing this debut uh mm-hmm. test um is it something more where you know the shadow lords that we're seeing watching or proctoring the test um, they kind of have, you know, their own bets on things. And if certain people pass or don't pass, that might have an impact on their ranking within the higher uh, echelon of the Shadow House. So, yeah, it always keeps the brain kind of going of like, all right, what's uh, what's going on here? Yeah. So yeah. kudos, kudos to Shadow's House for that. Uh, I'm just wondering mm-hmm. if there's like any connections between like the people watching and the other Shadows, because like it doesn't seem like there's any like direct, like it doesn't even seem like they're all related or anything. So like you don't know doesn't... why, like people are biased against who or whatever. It just seems like they just feel like like uh, Milko and Rama are going to be failing just because, I guess, ability. But it seems like they thought about it from the start. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it feels like the Hunger Games to me. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know if you yeah. guys ever saw that, but David, like what you were saying, where, they're, where they don't feel connected, but they have their favorites and stuff like that. It's almost like they got like some sort of like pamphlet of the characters and got attached to some of them ahead of time. I know it wasn't like that, but that's just the feeling I get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it'll also be interesting to see. Um, I think we're starting to see more and more that 
all of these shadow like lords and and masters and everything kind of have their different abilities with the soot. And so mm-hmm. I don't know if that's just something that's, you know, a, a trait of their personality types that's manifesting in those abilities. Like, you know, earlier in the episodes, we saw John kind of compartmentalize the soot to blow himself out of the box. And then um, some of the Shadow Lords, one specifically was like controlling the dolls on the map when he was watching them like through the magnifying glass and everything or through the uh, binoculars, excuse me. So that's another thing that I'm kind of interested in is like, how does that also potentially play into like where people stand in terms of their ability to manipulate this uh, shadow power. Mm-hmm. But yeah, not yeah. not a lot of answers this week. I don't know, <laughs> not think. at all. Um, more just like character development and relationship building. I think. I wonder how much longer we're going to be in this maze for. Do we know how many episodes are out actually, or how many the episodes are going to be of this? I think season? it's a thirteen episode season. 13. Okay. So we're at what, like eight or nine? Eight. Yeah. So we're getting there. I would say one, two, probably two episodes more. I feel like yeah, it's a one or two. Think. I'm just, I'm just thinking too how like, like it sounds like they gotta find out some way to make a miracle pass. I don't see her like failing this test. I don't know what's gonna happen with mm-hmm. John just because like his his clothes are all dirty and like they kept making a big deal mm-hmm. of that. So are they gonna mm-hmm. be able to fix that or is like are we just gonna? Is that gonna be a surprise, like where John and Sean ends up being the one that not passing? God, oh, I hope that'd not. be kind of wild. I would be so devastated like, if they're, that's they're the case. At it this episode, so yeah. I feel like yeah, one of the trio definitely doesn't have to pass because, like, with Ricky and Lou, you know, it is good seeing their kind of characters really come to the forefront. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're just so strong and stacked. I think it's almost kind of a given at this point that they're gonna be okay. And mm-hmm. it really is that trio that, you know, is trying to band together and, and keep everybody's spirits high that unfortunately, with what we've kind of seen a little bit behind the curtains of this darkness of the series. Somebody's somebody's got to lose. Well, and I think Edward specifically has always said that, you know, his r- real kind of worth is riding on not everybody passing. You know, he mm-hmm. had that. I think that was either this week's episode or the week before we hear he's really upset mm-hmm. that nobody had yet failed this mm-hmm. test so he's really trying his damnedest to uh yeah. to make well, somebody face the music he probably thinks like his worth as a judge is is like like strict quality control so like if he pass someone and they don't and they end up like not being like not being good quality later it makes them look bad yeah and Definitely. i was just gonna say too it just it feels like rum like it's like she's like the most obvious to not pass it it's like well then it sounds makes it sounds like well she, she should pass then because it'd be too obvious to fail her and not anyone else so I just probably just this is a feeling man. I feel like it's like it's like John and Sean like are like the one like that the show is like hinting at that it's not gonna pass. Yeah. I kind of feel don't... like it's gonna be a red herring though. I really do. I feel like there's gonna be like some shocking decision or we really still don't know what they're being graded off of. Like yeah, we, that too. We, we don't know. I I feel like we don't know yet who it's going to yeah. be. Or maybe it will be a a Milico that doesn't pass. And maybe that's critical to the plot line. You know what I mean? Maybe what she goes through, like maybe she doesn't get destroyed and what she goes through afterward helps move the story along. I don't know. Although, I don't know. I probably not. If if Milico is one one. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I still loving it, though. It's definitely the show I saved for the absolutely last one to watch of the week because it's the one I look forward to the most. (laughs) This episode wasn't uh, as creepy as some of the other ones, but still really good. But yeah cool but i think that's yeah that's gonna be it for uh shadow's house uh let's move on to our next show uh let's talk about uh moriari the patriot this second season or next season, part two i guess mm-hmm. uh this episode i feel like was much more grounded than everything we've seen before it's like mm-hmm. it seems much more of like a normal thing to do like like a lot at least this political drama seems much more more normal yeah. than the crazy stuff we've been doing recently. Right. So I guess there's that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was, it, again, I, it was fine. I'm a little frustrated that they introduced yet another new character. <laughs> right. Erwin Smith from uh, Attack on Titan. I'm just kidding. No. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't think about that. You just said it. It looks just like him. If he didn't have... If Damn he had, you for saying that, Taylor. If now, he had, I'm not going to get that out of my head. I, I if he had blue eyes now. instead of green eyes identical like they look exactly the same but anyways yeah they introduced him and i have nothing against him he seems like um you know he seems like a decent dude 
Um, the, the, the story of the episode, though, was pretty predictable. As soon as we saw the brother wheel out, I was like, oh, death flag right there. And of course, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's how the episode closed off. So I, that, I was a little bit disappointed with just how predictable the episode was overall. I knew exactly why the other lords of the house showed up, obviously, Moriarty, well, Moriarty and co set it up and knew exactly how it was going to play out. It was just kind of whatever. Yeah. For me. It's kind of interesting now how, like, the show really has taken this unique spin where it's almost surprising to see, like, Sherlock again. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it, it's, and even more so Moriarty and his group. Like, I know they have mm-hmm. been more prevalent, but to your point, Taylor, it's like they continue to insert, you know, these, these other characters to kind of focus on. And it's like, all right, like, hey, that's all great and dandy, but it's like you're kind of getting far away from where the series really started with, you know, mm-hmm. season one and, and all that stuff. So... I mean, hopefully they're, they're going to bring all these characters and build it all to kind of this one big, like, pinnacle moment. Mm-hmm. But it definitely is. It's it's unique, I guess, in, in that regard. Um, yeah. So I, I imagine they're only doing this because they probably have a lot more episodes and content to work with. I'm sure this is not going to be the final season of the show. So, um, yeah, I guess not. I thought for sure it would be. Not that many shows get more than two seasons. You know, how many shows yeah. get two seasons? So, yeah. But yeah, that's... I mean, I agree with you. It really seems like they're setting it up for more. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, oh. the the manga is running in Jump Square, so it's it's the monthly mm-hmm. version of Shonen Jump. So mm-hmm. I can see they maybe just want more animes to sell more manga. So. Mm-hmm. Could could definitely be. Um, yeah, I had no like issues with uh, what was the guy's name? Do we do any of you remember? Was it Whiteville or? It uh, was wi- wi- Wickerly? Wi- wi- Whitely? Whitely? Whitely, Whitely. Yeah. <laughs> or something along those lines, yes. yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, like Taylor said, there's going to be something that, that involves his brother in the wheelchair, and I'm sure um, Moriarty probably is going to, you know, help him out more in that regard, because I feel like there's kind of that similarity between Moriarty and his brother that, you know, mm-hmm. was deathly ill growing up and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, the The only thing that stuck out in my mind, and it was so random, was... Right after the uh, suicide bomber attempt happened, they flashed the newspaper and they said <laughs> Whitley a- Whitley attempts suicide, mm-hmm. and it was just like one of those things where you know poor Japanese to English translation mm-hmm. is just like oh. that, that's not that's not what happened. But I, but I see what you're trying to say. Oh. But it's just it's just something funny face, that st- it stood out to me. I didn't pay attention to, to that at yeah, all. Yeah, I noticed so. that too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because I looked at it and I was just like, wait, that that's not the right wording. Like, <laughs> Well, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to think that, like, the media was getting involved and, in, like, you know, blurring yeah. the, the truth for some reason. Because I, I, like, I was still trying to figure out what the play was I here. thought that was what, what was happening because uh, the, the other guy, uh, the villain, I can't remember his name, Milverton or whatever. Like, oh, thought, Charles Milverton? Yeah, Milverton. Yeah. I thought he was the one who, like, did the, So I thought he was the one behind, like, the weird, yeah. like, the weird thing. I didn't realize it was, like... They didn't actually make that much sense in, in English, so yeah. And then the the last scene we get is with uh, the two cronies of Milverton, the one like yeah. mm-hmm. just super like demented buff dude that smashes the guy's skull, like and then like the other kind like, of assassin stri- style, straight off Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. With this little helmet, so <laughs> well, well, we'll see. It, it wasn't, yeah. you know, it was just another episode was, of I'd say when, decent uh, quality stuff. When like yeah. Whiteley, when Whiteley said, "Hey, can I like have my own personnel to do this?" I was expecting next shot to be just just Sherlock, so I was surprised he wasn't in. This I was episode. expecting that too, but yeah. I guess we'll see him next episode. So, yeah. and then I'm I'm just wondering like, how like how much how involved is Milverton gonna be for like is this gonna be like the rest of the season or is just this, this arc or what? Because I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so it's this... like they're kind of setting him up as a like major player mm-hmm. as a, like separate faction. So. Like, I don't know if this is gonna be like a three or four episode arc, and we have one more before the season ends, or is this gonna go for the rest? Like, yeah, we'll have to see. Good question. So yeah, it's hard to yeah, say. So so this is just act one. So uh, just just have to wait and see. Mm-hmm. But now I, I can't get Irwin Smith on my head. So <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for Murray the Patriot. Uh, let's move on to our next show. Let's talk about Vivi. Oh boy! Or at least let's 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 try to talk about Vivi. <laughs> yeah, let's try to you know <laughs> diagnose what what went what, on. In what this just what the episode. hell has happened? <laughs> like honestly, I don't I don't even really care about, and this is awful for me to say. I don't really care too much about Ophelia and Antonio I know, right? and, and their whole <laughs> you know focus of this week's episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's kind of uh, a usual trope 
that's used in that regard where, you know, you, you, you have these clash of ideologies and trying to do the best for each other that leads to, you know, this very tragic end. Um, but more so, or you're talking about, you know, before the podcast is what the hell was going on between the whole monologues happening between, you know, Vivi or Diva uh, and the Toke member. That's what, so you know. Is it base- so is it basically, did he actually just like AI himself in a sense? He, yeah, I mean, he, yeah, like, he upload, yeah. He, yeah, I think he uploaded his consciousness in the robot body. I think okay, that's, that's what I, that's what I thought. And <laughs> yeah, and he's still just a dick. He is just See, determined to be mad should... about something for some reason. I don't yeah, really get I, why. I forgot by now. Like, okay, but like that one part where he was like saying to her, "Don't ever forget, you've hurt people." And then I sat there in my head trying to think about at what point AIs in the show have actually tried to hurt people, or that we've seen that happen. Did it happen at any point? I, I don't know. I mean, not. besides the, the besides the uh, little near automata dolls in the metal float episode that tried to attack everyone. Yeah, no. yeah but well, I know, but that was like from the future. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. time up to where we're at. We have never seen any evidence of them hurting people. They follow their missions and they're happy to do so. So it's a little confusing to me that he has like such a hard on for like killing all AIs that he then became the thing he hated just to go after her. That is yeah, really his, intense. It's like yeah. reasoning was not not really that that good like it's like seems like everything he doesn't like about ai he's just like he's just projecting onto them like it's like his personal problem that and that's why he joined the organization yeah. like well uh, i mean i guess i'm assuming like we still don't know you know what the malfunction was that occurred to diva i know last week you know we talked mm-hmm. about um her kind of coming to that you know huge climax at the end of the episode where she ended up shooting and kind of killing herself at least from the scene that we saw of her last um Mm -hmm. before you know flashing forward to this current timeline where it's diva not vivi vivi's kind of you know locked in the back of the ai brain mind um but it almost seemed like you know it was something that he stumbled upon because he was you know in that metal float facility when all the events were going on back in the past there so i wouldn't be surprised if he walked up as well and saw what happened to vivi and then obviously he's holding some weird grudge for that or if there's something you know further that happened after shortly after the events of the metal float that we don't know that like vivi oh, something more, revelation yeah. yeah he's talking about the yeah. revelation okay so. but i mean that was really vague yeah <laughs> So, I guess it's like yeah. something else. We'll, we'll have to wait to see if that gets explained. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like... all, all I can say though is I, I definitely uh, was digging his uh, like cannon hand that he had. <laughs> oh, yeah, during this week's I episode, mean, and just like the, the beautiful animation being Mega Man. To that. If we can say yeah. Anything, yeah. one thing about, about this show, it's like the fight scenes are, are epic, like if they do a really yes, good job really with good. that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I really like hand to hand, like hand to hand animation mm-hmm. looks yeah, the, the CQC. <laughs> Like, yeah. like where, 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 um, where was this attack on Titan? Come on, wait. Jeez. <laughs> um. um, but yeah, and then Matsumoto at some point had some sort of speech with VV too. That I or Diva, I guess she was still Diva at the time. Maybe I can't mm-hmm. remember when it happened. It was all so nonsensical to me. I couldn't tell if they were trying. It felt like they were trying to parallel whatever was happening between uh, well, VV and Matsumoto against Ophelia and Antonio, like yeah. to like emphasize the emotion that we're supposed to feel for them. Is that right? Because if that's the case, I'm just going to ignore that monologue and just pretend it never happened because it's kind of irrelevant. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. No, it, it's uh, the um, why well, I, I think with the whole thing with Matsumoto is just because like we saw him from the beginning where he just wanted to just do his mission, did not care about Vivi, just as long as she just kind of followed him. Mm-hmm. Or just you know did what she, you know she was told, but I think it was also it was just more showing like where Matsumoto like I guess trust I don't know if it was like trusted Vivi more um, mm-hmm. with just kind of like what I guess like what kind of just going like a little bit off course. I I kind of got like that like that was his okay. kind of like part of the speech. That's kind of what I what I got from it. But uh, it, f- I, it feels like from what we've seen during the show, like we don't really see like him like actually really going that process of really trusting Vivi. She's like it seems like. Their relationship just just is them just always arguing. So I don't really the way yeah. he says they like, got better. They got better, but like the way he says it in this episode, like I don't really feel it feels weird to hear, well, hear him say it because like we didn't really to, see that much to, in the show. To be fair, David, they've been skipping years. <laughs> they've been skipping like <laughs> so. I guess, We're but like it's 40. also years that they don't see each other. Like they're not interacting during that time to get yeah, closer. Right. So. Well, well, yeah, most of the time, yeah, it, it seemed like. But you know, who knows? Maybe there's yeah. um other stuff yeah. that we're not seeing. I think, like you said, the biggest thing is we need the revelation of you know what happened to Vivi 
after the the metal mm-hmm. float period and yeah. more so what i imagine is going to be leading up to this very climactic like event or like a uh, surprise of like how this all went into motion probably i, I think so there's is... definitely still some piece that you know is going to yeah. come to light I, i'm still in the mindset that this all started because of vivi in some weird way but yeah, yeah. i could kind of see that so is diva dead now then like is she still singing is that mission gone is it just vivi well i, I assume it's it just being vivi thing. right like, yeah. well, weren't they basically saying like that? Yeah. I don't know if it's the case. Like, they couldn't coexist in that body. Yeah. I was like, yeah. those two personality types. And so, Diva accomplished her mission or, or did her final, you know, utmost when she did the mm-hmm. final performance at the Zodiac concert. And then she kind of just gave, you know, the body back to Vivi because mm. oh, Moto needed her to continue on their their mission. <laughs> Yeah, but then does Vivi still have a singing mission too, or is it just her mission? Yeah, that's, that's what mission. I didn't get. I, don't know, right? I thought it was. Yeah, I thought the singing was always Vivi's mission. Yeah, I think that's so I too. too. Original mission, or, I guess. It's like cause that. That's the one that's programmed to her, whereas like this yeah. other stuff is what like Matsumoto gave to her, and so yeah, it's like. And the reason that Diva only existed was because of the little girl from the very first episode, right? Mm-hmm. That gave her the nickname Diva. Her, mm-hmm. her original name was always Vivi. Oh, oh yeah. Think. Mm-hmm. yeah, or was it the other way around? It was the other way around. The other way around. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. okay. Sorry, <laughs> I got confused oh. for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I was trying to think. So good for keeping me honest there. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I'm just happy to move forward from this concert. I didn't really care too much for Ophelia again. Un- unfortunate as it is, it's just kind of like, it was like yeah, the okay. Whole, <laughs> the whole trope of like. like- Oh, no, I was just going to say, it felt like really forced drama and miscommunication. It reminded me a bit of what happens in, like, K-dramas. <laughs> like, oh, <that's... laughs> they just didn't communicate properly. They both wanted to sing for each other, and then it got horribly twisted, and now they're both dead. I just, <laughs> I yeah. don't, that's, why did it have to be this way? Like, that's, like, like, so extra. Like, that trope in the whole, like, I want you to only look at me. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a specific word in Japanese for that. I just don't know why, but, like, because it's seen so much. Like, I know there's got to be a word for that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go back and rewatch Yuri on Ice. They might say it in there. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing is, too, it's like, I think they, like, they've been saying, yeah, it's been like, what, 40 years since the the incident with Tok with when he was mm-hmm. way younger. So I think, what, you're for, mm-hmm. we're 40 years into the 100 year or something. So I'm just mm-hmm. like. Oh, I thought, it was, I thought it was 40 years since that point. I thought. Is, but it wasn't. But that, that's since like we the last original. saw him? Was it since we last I thought saw so, him? yeah. Or was that's why I, I, I thought so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, okay. I think we're. I think yeah. we're. I think we're so pretty we, close to the hundred years. Okay, so we're yeah. really close. Yeah. We're getting yeah. there. We're probably in like the sixty to eighty range, more so wow. towards the eighty side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, we only have what like three episodes. Four? Three or no, four. I think. I think this is thirteen. Yeah, we have four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So I mean, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> I don't feel like this is going to be a sec like a second season deal. I think this is going to no, be it. Oh no, anime original. It's not being an original. Yeah. Usually it's one season only. So. So I'm hoping it wraps up. I mean, I, I had nothing really against this episode. Like how you guys already mentioned, I did not care about Ophelia at all. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. But I actually like the you know, just like the the bits and pieces that Matsumoto said, uh, and also just kind of excited to just get the normal Vivi back and just try to figure out like mm-hmm. you know or find just, out what happened with that whole situation. It just feels so weird that like, we had like what two episode like just this thing or like where it's just she just lost her memory or whatever and now it's packed like it's, i don't get <laughs> hey, the man. point honestly like anime originals 13 episodes you got like, limited time it felt so weird to have such a reset yeah All right oh we'll see it well see how they they bounce back yeah we mm-hmm. will see i think i think i'm good yeah so that'll be it for vivi let's talk for our next show Ooh, to your eternity Oh god. So, I feel this, like this, this one this be... one's dropping for me in terms of the, the <gasps> rankings. Oh dropping. Oh, I thought rankings. you meant you were dropping. <laughs> oh no 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 no, 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 no. I'll, I'll keep up with it. Um a little overreaction. I'm, a, I'm a little <laughs> it feels a little slow for me in a weird way. Because I feel like a lot happened this week, but mm. I don't know like in in what like kind of objective i'm i'm thinking it's slow i guess i want the story to move a little bit faster like i i think it, this episode was really great in terms of the relationship between uh fushi and the older grandma who's you know now teaching him how to write um mm-hmm. and how to speak the the native language and everything um so that's all fine and dandy but i don't know i, I feel like i just want to move at a faster pace weirdly enough so i'm, I'm really tempted to start reading the manga See, 
I actually like the whole kind of like uh, where well, one we actually found out that there. It was, I think this is the first time where you actually got kind of scared that uh, Fushi can die. Or I just mm. got scared that he was going to lose those permanently. One of them, you know what I mean? That too. Mm. Yeah. Very true. Like I really don't want him to lose like uh like the white haired like guy. Like that's like my favorite form Same. of his. So that's I the really, one I wanted to keep. I really <laughs> yeah, hasn't I lose that we, one. We all agree. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, oh. David, quick question. Oh, sorry. It's real quick. No, no, no. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna. Say, I know David, you don't really like the whole like kind of god aspect, but what are your thoughts on this guy? It felt. It just felt. I don't know. It felt. I like weird. this one more but than like, more other, than other anime. Actually, yeah. But go, go I ahead. Guess, like this god guy is just kind of. He's. he's it felt like he just unique. came out here out of yeah. nowhere. Weird. But then, yeah. but then when he when he said like, oh, like this this other thing was aimed in to stop you because we got to preserve this world. It's like, I thought the whole premise of this was more observation. Like we just want to observe human Same. nature exactly. and society. But now it's like, oh, we actually have like a goal, and a so yeah, we have a goal. yeah, that so, kind of surprised me too. <laughs> so it almost feels like there's potentially like more gods, and these gods have like mm-hmm. conflicting opinions of how they yeah. want to accomplish whatever so I, it is that they want to. Accomplish. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So it's not. Like, I don't. It's not like I hate the way they it went. It's just like I'm just more surprised. It just especially from that first season, like where, like I was just expecting this to be such a more like observation, whereas like. Where Fushi, like when, like when he gets transformed into a giant bear, he's so he's so OP. It's like, so it's <laughs> it's like this thing that the thing that absorbs is like the only thing that's that's like stopping him. So, yeah. Sorry, Justin, I cut you off a while back. Do you remember? No, what it was? you were you were you were fine. Oh, you were talking about or one of you guys were talking about. You were glad that um, Fushi didn't lose. You know the boys. Yeah. Uh, transformation, and I was gonna make a small jab at. Uh, it'd be okay if he lost Marsh's transformation yeah. dude, that's dude, like, sorry sorry too when he <laughs> marsh marsh man he's just just the arrow stuck in her that's that's just yeah. bm man like, that's even yeah. more it, it, more I mean, painful too. character though because he he wouldn't really have any that emotion to like i'm just saying it's just bm it. for, for people like Koo. Well, like here he had to go oh through, yeah like, the pain of <laughs> losing her and then every time he sees her now it's like she's stuck with the arrow she, that he, made her die. she just looks so creepy too when he transforms into march because you know it has almost like this dead eyes like i mean she is yeah. dead obviously but it's it's, it's fitting to food even more he's not for a human. <laughs> yeah so uh i don't know it's it's interesting to see kind of the other threats in this world i guess um and you know at the very end of this episode we get to see the like lizard mask guy being like finally introduced in that last scene and i know he's been uh pretty prominently shown in the opening collection of scenes in the opening song so it'll be interesting to see what uh what his story is and how now fushi is kind of getting involved in this next adventure of this world but yeah man i don't know i I, it could be just a uh, actually a weird thing where it's like i i like it so much that i want more and i'm finding the anime being too slow for me and that's like a weird thing i guess so so it wasn't like okay because i mean for this episode i actually uh liked it more than previous episodes one because it's it's actually like it's actually more plot it kind of uh work we were kind of wrong about previous like i think it was like the week right before that when we said that this show is just going to be about um you know, just going to be like like observing or and uh when we found out that there's actually going to be a, a plot moving forward so it'd be kind of inter- interesting to see what sasha says too because i know sasha was kind of you know kind of like what was the whole point of it but not yeah. kind of where we have I, more I, of a I did story. talk to him he's he's on the fence of dropping really? it he he did not. He, was he not thinks the it's this week. What, what is like, been, What? <laughs> I think he's like it's like it's, it was slow with the March arc. So, but I I, really? I, I, I I get what you're talking about, Justin. Though I feel like this fits well in the manga in a manga format because like you can just keep reading it over time. Where it's like here, I think we just expect more. I mean, it's from, kind of like, this double edged sword, I guess. Where it's like if I did go that route, like I'd catch up eventually to you know the other end of the spectrum, and I'm sure I'd feel the exact same way, but. I don't know. It, it, I guess it's kind of like you said, David, where, you know, the initial expectation was that this was going to be a show of much more observation. And now it's not that really. There's a lot more potentially at play here. That's kind of another thing, I guess, that I'm kind of just like itching for more like weirdly where it's just like, OK, I'm ready to almost, you know, just throw away the anime side and go <laughs> to the source yeah. material and see I like just, what oh, no. the hell is going on. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I again, I don't mean BM Coup with like with March dying, but I just I just felt so much more emotional impact from from the first guy like oh, dying. Too. Just so like so I, I kinda wanna see more of that feeling back, but 
don't know. Maybe yeah. I should maybe I should change our expectations for the show. So would, we'll see. would you be okay if like the show starts to really ramp up in terms of like the supernatural side of things? Because I think with the introduction I of guess, this latest monster, yeah. I feel like anything's on the table now I in kinda, this world. I, I feel like that's where the direction it's going. So I wouldn't I don't mind, I guess, but it's like I do kind of miss like that feeling of the first episode. Yeah. You got it. But I'm it, like, it did start I'm, off really I'm still strong. enjoy I'm still enjoying the show. Like I, it's not like I don't I don't think it's too slow and and anything. So I'm I'm in it till the end. I'm very patient apparently like with this yeah. show for some reason. I wish I had <laughs> the same patience. I think I think this show is I very much just, <laughs> I think this show is just very much for like a certain group of people. I can, I just feel like certain people are going to really yeah. click with it. Like it's a little bit more of a niche show like for example I haven't actually watched Mushishi, but from what I've read about Mushishi, it kind of reminds me of that, where, like, it, a lot of people went into it because it sounded like it was going to be, like, a paranormal type of thing. It appeals to a lot of people, but then it sounded kind of meandering, <laughs> yeah. and some people really loved it, and it really drew a lot of other people away, and this one, I don't really know if it is going to be... I don't think this one episode is enough to determine if it's going to be more of like an observation or more of like a high over... Just just because we know there's an overarching power doesn't mean they're going to be hugely active in it. I just yeah. don't know. So I, I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, me, I'm totally in. I love it. <laughs> for me, it's like it's it feels more original than a lot of things I've seen recently. So mm-hmm. that's also another mm-hmm. appealing fact. Like, yeah. but I, 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 I always I always give more of a chance to more original ideas. So. Like, honest to God, I am there. so sick of shonens and I'm so <laughs> sick of these guys. I could, I could just live with never. You mean, you're you're not a fan of uh, whatever that new isekai, like some assassin. There's some new I, assassin one that I saw and I was just like, oh no. There's Wait, some another one. new like, isekais every season. Like, they're, and they, no offense, I, some of them probably are better than others. I know that you guys like some of them. <laughs> I've slowed down on them a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was a really good example that you brought up with uh, Mushishi, because that's a show I've tried to start on multiple times, and I can just mm-hmm. not get through it for the life. I've heard a lot of but things, too, but I've loved shows like Kino's it. Journey. Yeah, so yeah. It's like a weird. They're like the that same kind of thing, but I don't yeah. know why, like, you know, that narrati- narrative style just, like, mm-hmm. it doesn't grip me for whatever mm-hmm. reason. Was it just because it was slow, Justin? The mush- Mushishi? Yeah, that would be, I think, one thing. And then I think, like, the first two episodes of, like, the different stories just didn't click too much with me in terms of like the underlying like moral Mm. that they were trying to like portray Mm. or whatever so i think that's the thing where it's really hit and miss for me personally is like whether or not it resonates with kind of like either my personal experiences or things Mm. that maybe i'm just like more naturally like uh attentive to so gotcha Mm -hmm. but definitely doesn't detract from the show i think like you guys said this is still a a really good show and something that's really standing out from everything else that we've seen so far this season it's, it's worth a shot for anybody hearing oh, this. Give it a shot. Like, yeah. To be fair, I know this is also like another really long running, or not running show, but it's a long running source. So that could also be why it's so slow. I mean, they have so much to go through. They don't want to really uh, skip through things. Because yeah. there's another show that we're going to talk later that also I know it's a very long running end <laughs> with Tokyo Avengers, but we'll wait till we get there. Well, we're there pretty much. Does anybody else have anything to say for To Your Eternity? I think, no, I think we're good. At this so point, I'll just be repeating myself. Yeah, so that's a bit for To Your Eternity. We move on to our next show, which, by the way, is To Your okay, Avengers. So, oh! So, um, that we're, nice, here. we're here. <laughs> Do, uh, I mean, I I like this one more than like uh, than like a few of the previous ones I was kind of a little hard on. That one guy's a bitch, though. I don't know who that guy was, but that guy, his ass just beat. And they're just, like, the whole thing, I'm thinking, like... Uh, Are you talking about were... Pa? Pa? Is that what his name is? I already forgot what his name was. Mm-hmm. The one uh, that got beat up right away? <laughs> yeah. Man, when this episode opened, certain with, um... The that guy with getting MC beat down getting again? Beat yep. up, I was like, Stratton's gonna hate yep. that. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, like, do we... Oh, like, it's like, constantly... Is, it was no point. Is that <laughs> the just thing that got annoys back up you about the show, Like, just seeing that them was, getting beat up all the he time? He just keeps getting beat up. He's just, just such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just... I don't know. It's <clears throat> That part I'm just getting kind of annoyed with. But then uh, when he was in that fight with that one guy, and then they kept saying, like, oh, man, he's getting his ass beat. He's just like, he needs to quit. And then everybody's just like, wait, wait. I was like, okay, do we, is there something else that we know? And he just gets knocked out. It's just like he hasn't quit yet. I was like, seriously, is this it? <laughs> it's like you hype this man up yeah. just to get his ass beat. That's and then, uh, but then uh, the best part was when, uh, God, what the hell's his name? I want to say, uh, Mikey. Mm-hmm. When yes. uh, when Mikey just kind of came in there and just dr- just just knocked him out one shot. I thought, oh, and then you know, Draken comes in, and then the bitch just comes with a knife. This thing, this motherfucker. <laughs> 
and then uh that i don't know the, the drama but like between them where uh oh god there was one part that actually like i i, I finally thought was was uh was funny until this like until they broke like everything that the man had i think it was like okay. the first one i thought was really good and then they kind of just kept hammering his, his, his yeah. precious hayate yeah. yeah and i just i just thought of uh was it the uh, devil's a part-timer and doula hunt <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I mean, I guess, did you guys have fun with kind of that that ending scene between uh, oh. Mikey and Draken when they were uh, throwing all their stuff? No, 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 I, I don't know. It's, it's tough. I was, no, I'm way too worried that they're actually going to fight. Yeah, like, I'm feeling that's tense. The problem, because it's basically supposed to be like a tense like scene, yeah. and then they're, they're trying to do com- like uh, comedy relief, but then they're, they're, they're trying to bring it back to seriousness. Yeah, they're not and doing exactly what well. Stratton yeah. said. Yeah, so. yeah there, there's some shows that can do that really well, but it's really hard to pull it off. This episode, yeah. it, just, um, it uh, was a miss for me, so. Yeah, it's. I feel uh, like everything with Tokyo Avengers is super hit and miss for me. I will literally go from like loving one thing that happens in like 15 seconds to hating the following 15 <laughs> seconds to going back to liking the next minute. Like throughout an episode, I either love or hate like every single aspect. It's such a weird show for me. Yeah. I'm mostly, That's what worked I, for me. Yeah, go ahead, David. I I mostly so enjoy it. Besides the time travel stuff, it's like this is the first time where I felt like it wasn't really like where like, it just felt off. Like, yeah. So. Even for me, you know, reading the manga and everything, like in in the same vein, you know, where I've I've tried to like hype it up and everything for you guys and coming into it, like I do feel bad in the sense that you know that there are these really like kind of miss or like off kilter things that really take away from like the drama and like kind of heaviness of the show. And, and for me, it feels really bad, you know, when we do have these moments in episodes because like every week I'm kind of just thinking like, oh man, like I can't wait to see, you know, uh, well, like, what you me. guys thought of it because I'm kind of like worried like, <laughs> oh man, like now seeing this animated, I'm like, ooh, this is kind of like, <laughs> not bad, but it, it really detracts from like see, the really good stuff, like the meat see, of the for show me, that like, I think a lot of people like. <laughs> it's like, I'm not like that. Like, I don't, I don't just drop things like for stuff like that. Like it had to be like really yeah. bad or like consistently mm. bad. Where this is just like okay. more like like a bump mm-hmm. in the road for me, so I'm I'm still like all yeah. on board. Yeah, yeah I'm nowhere feel... near dropping it. It's just bewildering sometimes. That's really you... all it is, but yeah. it's not drop worthy at all. Do you think the pacing is going all right so far? Do you think it's I just know. right? I mean, Do you think it's kind I of slow? Oh, I thought the pacing yeah. was fine. Slow. Yeah, for me, I honestly is fine. With, I'm fine with the pacing oh. just because I would prefer them to not hmm. miss stuff. Like, so, no, that's it's, true. I, like every... so the one thing I haven't really hammered on this show is like pacing at all. Like I'm perfectly fine with it. It's yeah. just like how how they're like showing it, like how they're basically giving us their information. How it's... have you guys still? Uh, and, and sorry to keep on like directing to like a different question, no, but it's uh, fine. That's fine. <laughs> I know last week a lot of you, you know, had your your um, comments or, or gripes about Takamichi as a character and him continuing to come into these, you know, uh, events with like no plan. And exactly this <laughs> week again, we see him having no plan, and then he ends up just getting like knocked okay. the fuck out. So at least okay, he managed this... to finish a damn puzzle. Oh, my God. <laughs> hold on. That, yeah, that was the part that I thought was hilarious when when it was with the, with when Draken basically destroyed the puzzle. Yeah. That part I actually really that liked. was so funny. Uh, oh, but this... the, the one part. Oh, David! Before I forget, there was a the, the part that I hated with that with the guy where before like previous episodes where I I kind of griped about how this guy doesn't remember like these crucial parts like of his like past mm-hmm. like of his memory he just forgets but he remembers every damn item I know. that they were <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, yeah. motherfucker, putting more value you in his items than his life. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I think some parts of that could be explained like. Maybe I'm getting my time travel timeline mixed up a little bit, but like this stuff that's happening with him in this fight right now that happened in this episode. I mean, what I don't he wasn't there originally, right? In the first run through of his no, life. No, I don't think so. Yeah, he was correct. never friends yeah. with Mikey so, or Draken before. So yeah, yep. Okay. Just reconfirming. No, you're right. I mean, I'll say like for the fight with like with Mobius and and then them, it's like I guess that one was out of his hands, so I don't blame him for that much. Mm-hmm. So. Did you guys feel like much, I guess, what's the word I want to use, like, hype or shock for anything that occurred in that fight with Mobius? Like, with, you know, Mikey just one-tapping the guy with, with no, his, like, super OP that surprised me was, the knife. Was, was the knife. Yeah, were you yeah. surprised by the knife stab <laughs> either, though? I, I thought, like, someone, yeah. I thought, like, some, it was, yeah, some Mobius guy was a stab dragon in uh, nowhere. It's like, wait, is this really how he goes down? And then I saw his paw, so I, I think the other guy, like, wait, what? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like some. I thought it was gonna be like that guy with the glasses. I thought maybe he was gonna come in and uh, maybe I, I don't. I don't actually know where he's supposed to come in, but I just I just thought for some reason there was gonna be like a mystery guy or mystery yeah. party that would make 
but then oh true 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 just ends up being some guy in their main but party then, but also because i didn't know like, what day it was so then we find out that later it's august 1st we're like oh okay so we technically have two days before dragon's oh, supposed to die so we're doomed so, that's, so yeah, yeah so that that so I, I just didn't know what day this, this was supposed to be so yeah I also thought it was kind of funny how, like, as soon as the leader gets taken out and Draken kind of says, you know, like, oh, you all work for Toman now, everybody just kind of accepts it in, like, the, <laughs> yeah. the Mobius game. See, like, I'm just like, sh- what are you, what are you sh- guys, a bunch of you're, bitches, like, you know, you're, you're supposed sh- to be this, like, two-generation-old, like, gang. And, okay, fair, you know, your leader gets one tapped and he's, you know, the strongest of See, all of Mobius. You but usually- like, man, have, have a backbone and spine. Like, you're still, you know, it's still 40 against five. Like, maybe, yeah, you'll get your ass kicked. But I just felt like that's kind of, like, it, one of those moments where it's, like, kind of weird, where it's just, like, Hey, you're our bitches now, and they're just like, it's like, "Okay, sir," and they're like, "Yo, go pick up your, you know, <laughs> your leader. Don't leave him." Yeah. Usually, it would be like a weird thing, but I feel like, like this is like this is like the exception for this show. Like, I actually didn't mind that happening. It's like the one I thought it'd be a cop out, but it's like this actually kind of makes sense that like because Mikey's so strong, and you took out their leader, and everyone you could just say they're just spineless. So mm-hmm. it's just a bunch of like you know, just just a bunch of like just cheap. Want to want to be want to yeah. want to be delinquent, acting, like, acting tough. That's like, a good yeah, way. Like, yeah. There's all like there's all loyalty. It's just you just want like you just want like the the protection, the image. The, the you want the image, yeah. not like the actual like. So that makes that actually makes sense for me. Like, I, for some, it just didn't bother me when other shows it would. Good. So. Yeah. I, again, I think with my my bias of knowing the show and everything, I think I'm just being overtly critical. So I'm glad to hear you guys are still you know having fun with it. And there hasn't been anything that's been. A big negative. Oh yeah. no, I'm not gonna oh, drop it because I'm gonna still hold. Because I still don't. Just you know, from what you said, Justin, it's gonna get good. I just gotta wait. Or else, <laughs> Justin. I'm just kidding. No. No. Right? Yeah, I, I mean, like no pressure, man. No, no, like even <laughs> no. if you weren't, even if you weren't hyping us every week, I'd still be like enjoying it. Like yeah, yeah I'm still watching. It's on it. merits. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that actually annoyed me about this episode is just like the it's it's something like the forced drama. What felt like forced drama to me between Mikey and Draken. It felt forced. Like what are yeah. they even really fighting about? Obviously, Draken had to get him out of there. Like Pa made his choice, and he said he wanted to stay. I just don't really even understand. It just feels like a convenient fight, like for the plot, rather than something you would actually. I mean, there's supposed to be two leaders of a of a gang. Like they should be able to make those kind of decisions and especially mikey is the leader i mean i understand that well and especially too because draken is supposed to be like his moral backbone or something right and his heart so i feel like it even goes more against that so that kind of annoyed me but what do you have to face right you see biden at the guys we still we still have to like remember that you know regardless of their looks they are in middle middle school school. (laughs) so they're gonna have these childish fights The only thing I can say is, like, I guess they try to show that with Mikey last, last episode that like, he still is naive, a lot, of, a lot of things too. But even still, mm-hmm. it still felt like a forced, like, argument. Like, I, I feel like Mikey should, as a leader, he should know better. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. that, like, that, like, pa, like, this is basically, like, I don't want to try to look up for his friend, but, like, he, like, Pa, like, did this on his own. So he has to take his own yeah. responsibilities. So as a leader, well, you need to recognize that. I, I do say the the big thing to to your point, Seren, is like the very end of the episode, you know, when Draken first shows up and then when they're leaving the house and, and Mikey's there and he's like, why are you at his house? Like, I'm coming to his house. He's like, no, I'm coming to his house. And then, you know, that starts all fight. It, yeah. And it drills definitely in. They're kids. Like, yeah. you know, yes, they're trying to have this more grandiose, like, ideology of, like, building this gang. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, just a bunch of kids doing... Yeah. Stabbing you know, people, delinquent smoking. shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the huge. Yeah, oh the yeah, huge. when they mentioned something about the true delinquent like, lifestyle, I laughed for a full minute. I had to pause the yeah. show. I was like, "What could you explain I to just, me?" I just thought it was kind of funny too. And again, maybe it's not me knowing much about the juvenile system in Japan and all that thing. But it's like when they stabbed that guy, and like we didn't know if he was alive <laughs> or dead. You know, yeah. they're just like, "Oh, no worries. Like he'll go to jail for a year, but he'll be back. It's all good." I'm just like. He's only gonna go to jail for like a year. Like I get he's you know a minor and everything, but it's like yeah. he stabbed the guy. But, like, but if he died, he would have been in there till he was eighteen. That's true. They did. Yeah, I forgot about mm. that. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. They're just kind of like, yeah, you know, it's all good. Like he'll just go yeah. away for a little bit. We'll see him again though. But I guess that's just you know the delinquent lifestyle. I guess I'm not. Yeah. I wasn't hardcore enough as a child. Same, same. But I can live out these fantasies through shows like this. So truth. <laughs> I'm, well, I don't really have anything else. To, yeah, I don't think. <laughs> so looking forward to. Show, I mean, hopefully, like this. 
I don't know. I just worry that like it's gonna blow up into like like something like actually big next week where like where like the fight leads to like the uh, the gate, the civil war or whatever, and then like I don't know. Yeah, um, I would be you know, Draken will be saved and then something else will come up. You know? <laughs> I don't know. They could they could, I could see a little easy Draken be, being killed by someone or the the glasses guy. I hope not. Uh, that would be maybe like one chance of like if if Draken actually dies, then I mean like man fuck the show. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. So, we'll see yeah we will see so that'll be it for Tokyo Avengers uh, move on to our next show Let's try fit in um, 86 before we have to go so um, I don't know how's, how's I think all of us saw this coming right I think all of us saw this right yeah pretty much Yeah. what just the sense that the five year thing was Oh, it was basically uh, it was know, basically a lie, a lie that they were all basically gonna yeah, supposed to that they're all supposed to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and that's like uh, basically everything that happened in this episode. Like the pacing of the show is so slow. Yeah. And I mean to be fair, I you know, I know um we've been told that they're being very faithful to the light novels mm-hmm. and everything, so I am grateful for that. But it, mm-hmm. it, it kind of like the same thing with for me for with two year eternity. Like it just feels like slow. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is weird because they're, they're, they're being, but it feels like it's being slow. But at the same time, it feels like we get absolutely like no time with like with those characters. Like, like was and we we mentioned before, there's so many characters, but it just feels like those other characters that like that die. Like there's really no connection. Like you yeah. kind of just like saw them and then they're gone, and then I you mean, just kind of move on. Yeah, I think the big thing that we were kind of saying last week too is like with the revelation of the brother and confirming, you know, him being the one that had his heads taken. Like, I'm really invested in that plot line. Like, I was expecting yeah. Oh, yeah. to, you know, them infiltrate, you know, this this leading base that's kind of been the main hub for the opposing factions' kind of war efforts. And then, you know, uh, um, oh my god, why, what's the main character's name again? Is it Shin? Shin. Yeah. We'll yeah. Shin. Shin. Shin kind of finally having this initial you know uh confrontation with his brother and that obviously didn't happen and, and very much so like yes I- i'm grateful that you know they did show like the the fireworks scenes and kind of like the emotional like growing up of some of these characters that we said before like we couldn't remember like half of their names <laughs> right. and, you know, we had a gun to our head <laughs> um and uh i don't know it's weird that like i'm grateful for that but then i feel like they did that with last week's episode. Like they already had kind of this heartfelt moment of like their interactions with each yeah. other outside of war. And it's just like, I, w- I want it to I move think, faster. So I think this is one like, of those, like, oh, whoa. I think for me, it's like, yeah, I, I'll probably just read the light novel. Just, I feel like it's better in light novel form. And I, I know yeah. I've seen too, a lot of like people like appraise the show for the directing. So I've been trying to pay attention to more to it more, but like at the same time, it's like there's all the other stuff that you guys are saying too. So I feel like it's just one of the things where like I just gotta read the light novel. So yeah, I think was it you that said Stratton last week? Like every time we see um, Lena's uncle, like it's the exact same shit. Like why even show it? And that was like a oh, perfect yeah. thing. Like yeah. this week's episode again, it's her being like, <laughs> "Hey, can I get the right off?" He's like, "No, the war efforts, blah blah blah." I'm a one dimensional character, and this is you know. <laughs> the same three monologues every time i'm shown yeah. and you were you know hit the nail on the head because when i saw that again i'm just like why yeah. why are we here again like you're yeah. not adding mm. anything to like <laughs> lena and her you know father and giving us more details there like you're literally just being you know general stonewall saying the exact same things yeah like, oh, yeah, no, not even her uncle but her like her best friend too were like a lot of those dance yeah those basically i think that that was the main one like i was harp like i was actually having issues with i don't because the uncle, I mean, I just kind of felt like didn't really see him too much. But then again, it's not at this point completely pointless. And then I, I just, <laughs> like, I just I, like I, I don't know, like it just makes you hate like her people. I guess it, it's just like they're all just trash. And then I just remember like they show like that scene where that kid falls in the street. I'll just take <laughs> it. <laughs> and then uh, and then I just kind of like moved on. But it's just like I just I don't know it. Uh, it's. Well, well I, I guess at this point, I would prefer to have it now where things change. With uh, you know, like because I think we all kind of ex- expect like they're all supposed to die, but now it's more like hoping that doesn't happen now. If it's a, uh, if it's, if I assume like now it's going to be trying to save them. But do you think that that's going to be a possibility, or do you think it's going to be basically they're all just going to get wiped, and then season two is a whole new cast? I don't know. 
Yeah, because it's almost it's like, being built up of like they know they're heading, you know, to their death. And like, what can Lena really do at this point? Like, she's tried going to her uncle and getting reinforcements, and obviously they're not giving them any reinforcements yeah. because this is their execution grounds. Like, everybody gets sent here to die. Um, I feel in a weird way, like I'm almost okay. Like, if the majority of them die, and like Lena doesn't ever get to have that interaction with them, because I feel like that would just give more like weight. To this world that like war is unfair and you know you're trying to change this system and yeah i mean like, i don't know it, i feel like i feel like nobody's gonna win at the end weirdly like it, enough it feels at I least mean, in this it, current plot, it feels pressure. definitely more like impactful because like because the way the season's been going like when we just keep seeing everyone get like die one by one and then we see i just know it's like in like the that like the attack board of like with everyone's faces and how like you see that it it's slowly doing down every time someone dies. So, so, and that's that's like I feel like that's one of the strengths of of this season. Is like, it, or I mean, I know that we don't see like we see don't we don't see the characters much, but it's actually having the feeling of people like slowly dying over the season for me, like is one of the strengths. So, yeah. I can hmm. see it keep do going you, down that route. Do you think it could be a possibility that Lena will eventually just go out to the I the f- battlegrounds? I feel like that's say, like, fuck, fuck, fuck the Republic. Like you know, I'm not what, getting anywhere here. <laughs> I feel like it's like a, what what they're yeah I, I feel like that's what's leading do- towards you. But then if, if everyone's just gotta die, I don't know now anymore. Like if that's what she's yeah. gonna do. Yeah. Well, that I part, and I just oh, yeah, go ahead. I, I just assume like I was thinking like you know she would eventually go out there as well. But at this point, it's just like what's the point if it's just her? Like I thought like maybe she would in in a sense like go around her city or her like her people and try to see if there's like any people like any sane people that would want to yeah. um you know fight for the the eighty six. Mm-hmm. That's but it's but now it's the whole thing is like if they're all supposed to die, it's you know like how David said like what's the point? Yeah, I could only see like if she does go out, then like okay, you know you'll have Shin obviously I think it's only staying just alive be Shin. for the majority. I yeah. think the one girl with the um long hair that we thought was potentially you know uh, an Alba or whatever the one that An- in this week's episode yeah. Anju, yeah, I was taking a shower with the other girl and then we saw like those scars on her back. Um, I think she kind of has plot armor yeah. because they didn't really explain what the scars <laughs> well, came from other than just like poor treatment of like the 86. To be fair something. though, to be fair, their plot armor falls immediately. <laughs> so, yeah, very, in these very, episodes. True, very true. They do, you know, draw these grandiose like, oh, you know, I want to, you know, show my true emotions for this person. And then they just get, you know, yeah, <laughs> killed but, this, this episode. But, but really, I think the only person that would survive is Shin. Um, yeah. oh, and yeah. maybe, and maybe the other guy with spiky hair, maybe. But I, but I, I feel like, uh, if, if anything, he'd probably just end up sacrificing himself. Yeah. I think that, that maybe like the blonde guy too. That's the leading of like the fox unit or whatever that took it from the other. Oh, the, guy. The, I can't the annoying kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, I, it's. I mean, I'm gonna finish the season, but I'm by no means gonna. Go and watch the light. I mean, I'll, I'll finish Sorry, it alone <laughs> for uh, Sawano and his epic soundtracks that he provides to the show. Oh, so. yeah. 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 If, if, if everybody just get wiped out and die, and especially Shin, I'm like, okay, we're, we're good. I don't need a whole new cast. Yeah, I heard you guys mentioning that as I took a step away where you were like, oh, what if they had a new cast? No, thank you. I would just be done. Same. Yeah. I mean, for as, for as little as I know about them, I feel like <laughs> too attached to them to just have them all die. And I like Shin and, and I like Lena, you know. I'm just saying about how they kill everybody off, you know. I actually really like. Sorry, I'm just gonna say one thing really quick. I know you guys have already been talking about it, but I actually really like the main character of this show, like a lot. Like, I'm really harsh on some females in anime and how they're portrayed, but I really like her. Like, I remember at the beginning she was thinking something serious or trying to like get away. She was trying to get away with sending the fireworks, and she's trying to use her authority to make it happen. And she's like walking down the hallway, and she like has this horribly embarrassing moment where she trips, and then she just. <laughs> to like get up and walk on and it was like such a stupid little tiny thing but it was like really it th- felt really relatable to me and i like those mm-hmm. moments that they have um so i'm kind of sad that like i'm kind of sad that like the rest of the show is kind of mid and and right it's just the the, the lena and shin show at the end of the day like, yeah that's all yeah. It is. <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> yeah uh, yeah I gosh more. well for me it's like i've i've been looking at too much other people's like just like everyone just praises the show so much for directing, so I'm trying so hard to see it, but it's like I can't get past like all the other issues I've been, I've been discussing. Mm-hmm. So that's why like, yeah. I really I, mean, I just want to read the light novel, see like if it's like if it's I don't know. 
I feel like there's definitely really probably a lot more too. fleshing out of characters than the light just, novel. It feels like such, yeah. such a disconnect yeah. Oh, yeah. between like between our group and like the whole other general like yeah. general mm-hmm. like census. Yeah, so. that's the thing. Like we literally haven't seen anybody else on the Alba mm-hmm. side that gives two fucks about yeah. Lena and her mission. So right. like they're awful. Not... Like all of them are awful. They're yeah. just bo- not only are they just awful people like characters, but as a viewer, they're boring and and just very one dimensional and. <laughs> Now, honestly, they don't even seem like very great, like, dictators, you yeah. know what I mean? They're, they're really bad at that, even. I'm surprised they've managed to stay in power well, for so long, to be honest. I, I like how, like, with, like, the whole war, in a sense, they basically just seem like they're just weathering the storm. Like, they're not even really trying to win it. They're just, they're basically just, like, send, like how they mentioned, like, they're just sending, like, like, eight, like the people of 86 to just die. Like, mm-hmm. that's, they're just, basically just, it's just, like, an execution. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. It just seems just fucking stupid. It's more of like they should just like you know let them just take over that entire place, just let them just run out, run it all over. Well, I mean that's why yeah. eighty six don't care because uh, oh, the should. legion the <laughs> legion are gonna come in anyways. They yeah. Just leave. They just want to die on their own terms. If you're gonna die, you know at least I'll choose how I die. Like they said, you think there's gonna be a better way to run away? You know, just run away, go to the beach, just retire. Yeah, hmm. but whatever. Too easy. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I'm good. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for 86 for this week. And let's move on to our next show. Uh, do you guys want to just shout out Bakuten real quick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bakuten was actually decent this week. Like, it was actually pretty good, everybody. Like, I, I felt emotions. We learned more about the coach's backstory. And it was it was interesting and relatable. We learned about his wife. And I def- I had had a big smile on my face. I thought it was super sweet. Um. And I, I definitely feel like it just showed better characterization, even through just his eyes in the past. It, it showed all of the characters and their personalities and relationships with each other, like, so much better. Like, this one episode made me feel so much more attached to the team. And then, like, every time it came back to the present time, an MC, I don't even know his name, every time he was on <laughs> screen, and he just had some pointless fucking thing to say i'm like why are you here like you were too an extra of a character we should have just been with the original team or something but whatever yeah it's it's more of like the with him it's just like the surrounding people and he's just kind of there yeah and i'm just trying to do backflips <laughs> yeah it was a good but episode I, though i liked it i did like i mean it was the whole the whole story with the coach i thought was actually really good i am a little mm-hmm. bit disappointed that he did actually have a wife Oh uh, I was <laughs> I was actually hoping it was just gonna be like a, just a running joke throughout the entire the entire season, and then and then she shows up at the end, mm-hmm. or we find just like a just a terrible backstory where I think I mentioned to you, Taylor, where it's just like, watch, we're gonna find out that he actually did have a wife, but she like died like a tragic death or something oh, like oh. that, and like that's why nobody knew of her, which mm-hmm. you know it, it wasn't that case, but it's uh it's uh and then the little the little redheaded girl she was um uh connected to the his wife's family. The the the, mm-hmm. the like the one with like the iPad mm-hmm. all over the place. Yeah. So we the got manager. Yeah, manager. So we got some sort of, we got like backstory on her in a sense that wasn't even like really focused on her. And then she seemed like she was also she was very disappointed in how he was uh nice. <laughs> oh no no yeah. or no not not no. nice, but I think it was more of just like with just being a gym, gymnast, right? That she was like mm-hmm. really like um shocked about. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. and then uh dude that, that one was it the principal? The, the guy's just like a dick. Where it's just mm-hmm. where he like it, the whole thing when he was just trying to get like some sort of budget for like not even just a budget but a team for mm-hmm. um for for just the for like the gymnastics and like I forgot what his his, his comment was just like just like it's like dude <laughs> what the fuck yeah he <laughs> just like, said it wouldn't bring anything like better to the school yeah and then basically and then the guy just has no idea yeah I've seen worse at least he got over it and like you know. Three minutes of anime time rather than multiple episodes. Oh, yeah. The guy just had to do you know, some crazy backflips and then he changed his mind. That did kind of make <laughs> me laugh. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of the things that they resolve in this show is they all I have to do is a backflip. Let me, then, yeah. Let me show you this yeah. backflip. It'll change your yeah. life, man. <laughs> 90% of your problems just go away. <laughs> but you thought you wanted to go to school to become a doctor, but let me change your yeah, mind. Let me show you something. And <laughs> anyway, yeah. It was so good. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully it stays like this at least for the rest of the season. I don't know. The, the coach was my favorite character. Now we already got his backstory, so now I think it, it's only going to go downhill from here. <laughs> Damn. We'll see. Well, that's like that's it for Bakuten then. <laughs> uh, and then um, let's talk about uh, Nagatoro-san for a little bit. 
Yeah. If Kill I am was... four episodes in. Oh, you're actually I'm four in. Episodes okay. in. So I'm trying to catch up, but uh, first so far, episode sir? awful. Yeah, first episode <laughs> awful, but it's it's gotten better. It's gotten more. It's gotten better every single episode after that, though. Like episode two was better than the first. Episode two or episode three was better than the second, and so forth. So I'm I'm hoping it kind of continues. But that first episode, and then, dude, you, know. you, you didn't enjoy the an- the the nice animation of him just getting teased by everyone. Dude, the animation I thought was like intense was when she was doing like that flip kick thing, which I thought was, was well, crazy. Even yeah. before then, like the when they were painting through like the library, like how a nice animate everything that was. Yeah. Yeah. It was a cute moment though when she got flustered when he said, like, oh man, your spin kick thing was cool. And she actually like got flustered. I thought that was I thought that was a cute moment. I was like, I was like, okay, okay. And also where the whole thing where like they were like on that forced date where uh and then she just had no interest whatsoever and this and then he just kept thinking like ha you're about to get teased, and none of that should happen. And yeah. Russia, <laughs> but anyway, I'll let you guys talk about the the new episode. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be caught up for next week. All right. Well, I was just gonna say for the episode this week, I was so proud of MC. He like you know gathered some courage twice in one episode. First, when he wait, I don't remember what order it happened in. First, I think it was the he festival. walked up to the table of all, and then the I think table I'll... was the second the second part. Second part, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah. So first was the festival when you know she's teasing him, teasing him, teasing him, and he just calls her out on her bullshit, and she backs down because she's still just a, a kid and she's shy and nervous about some things at least when you know she's asked about it point blank. I thought that was really well done. And then later on, yeah, when they're all sitting at the table and she she has no interest in these guys that are hitting on her and her friends, and he walks up and he's just like, "Let's go!" and grabs her. And they leave. I was so proud of him, and like like she backed him up a couple times in the episode too. It, I love them actually a lot. <laughs> Dang, they like really grew on you, didn't they? Yes, I really love them. Every week I like them more, except like last week I did not like that episode at all. But that was not their fault. Like, dude, if Koo was here, man, he'd be like, he'd be loving like this episode too. Like, like. All the interactions, and then I got I gotta give props to the main 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 character too. Like he really stepped up this week. So for all those signs, I like I shit on him like the first two or three episodes. Like he's he's getting up there now. Mm-hmm. So so good on him. Yeah, she's basically like she's like nudging him basically into like gaining more self confidence. I kind of like how that's working between the two of them, and I like how he's. Almost like helping her like address her feelings or like become more authentic. Like eventually that will happen. And it's obvious that she's just really not getting anything from most people around her. Like she seems very apathetic towards a lot of people except her friends and him. Like her direct yeah. friends, you know, and him. And he's pull- he's help he's helping her some way with that too. I don't really. Know- I feel like we're gonna learn more about her backstory is and why she's like that. But maybe she just doesn't I like think- most people and she just likes to. He's perfect to tease. I, I don't think know. It's just, it's just like the teenage high school thing. Where it's like you hate you're, yeah. you're, you hate like people in your school, so you don't you don't say anything. Just you put up with them. Like yeah, yeah. And it just seems like she just has to deal with a lot of BS. Like so she a lot of the, the guys always trying to hate on her. So. I think it's like it's like that combined yep. with like earlier how like she really I, th- I think she has an interest in people who are passionate about things so she likes that about the main character too so mm-hmm. I really like when shows are like realistic too like at the very beginning when he was like waiting to see if she was gonna invite him to the festival he was like shy by <laughs> her and he's like dithering so he like goes to the that, festival like oh maybe she will part, be here and then when he gets called out on it he's like yeah, I don't know I was just bored. <laughs> That part was way too relatable. <laughs> so yeah, right. <laughs> feels feels bad, man. I know. Feels bad, man, for all all those owners who can't can't get your friends show, to show with you. Yep, we've all been there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just still love it, liking yeah. it more and more each week. Yeah, this is a really good episode. So hopefully, try and get cut off. Can't and... wait. Yeah. I will be tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So that's the that'll be it for uh, Nagatoro San. Then move on to our next show. You guys want to talk about burning k- k- body? I do. I, uh, well, <laughs> with the new character that was introduced, I assumed it was going to be actually a female or a trap, and it ended up being a trap. To be fair, okay, so the three new characters they introduced, I did not notice the big, like, previous sumo wrestler at all in any of the scenes. In the, in the opening, in the ending, I didn't notice oh. this guy at all. Oh, so neither did he, I. Was he, he in actually, it? Yes. What? <laughs> he's, been in, he's been in each. Every, he's, he was in every episode, but because oh, of damn. because of my ass, I always noticed the trap first, <laughs> and then I noticed also the other. The actually, I didn't even notice the guy with the the hair, because I, I it was like the 
but I, but the, of the the main team, I like the wrestler or sumo wrestler, and also the the guy that that just whispers. The, the those guys I thought were really good. The the uh, the other guy was felt kind of out of place. Um, not not needed, or not necessary. Um, I thought it would have been a lot more cool to actually have like a female uh, on the team. But we didn't yeah, get I that. think that would have been cool too. I was kind of yeah. super disappointed that it was a trap. I I really did not like that at all. That took away yeah. massive points from the show for me. Um, and I did not like this episode at all. I didn't like any of the new characters. I didn't like why they were there. I this one was this was my least favorite episode of the season easily. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll still keep watching it. I have I have a feeling they'll find a way to fit in in the team. I just didn't like their introduction. That's all. Yeah. I think I'll like, probably end up. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say two of the three characters actually, uh, actually like of of the three, my favorite was the the guy that whispers. Yep, I was just going to say that he was my favorite out of the three too. And I'm not. I think I think a little bit of the thing I didn't like about it too was like I really don't like the MC. I think he's just kind of an asshole, and he doesn't like grow on me like in a pleasant way, or like you get used to him. I just don't like him. I kind of get sick of like the constant thing of like I am so great and I am going to judge you before everybody else gets here. I just don't like it, you know. So. I'm like him a lot of that. This episode, I was like, eh. That's fair. He's growing though. He's also actually like realizing these things as well yeah. as he goes. Yep. So That's it's true. not it's not like he's just kind of like sputtering in place, but he's actually it is he is improving and, and growing. Well, sorry, you know you know the type of characters I like. I right, like no. my Hinata, Yuji, <laughs> yeah, happy very go po- lucky, the very positive stupid. guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's not a surprise that he's not my favorite. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, like I was perfectly fine with this, but I, I was disappointed though that it wasn't like a female on the team. I don't know the rules yeah. of, of Kabaddi. Um, so Ayush, this is where you come in. <laughs> yeah, since it's a contact sport, I could see that it would maybe at least have to be separated. Yeah, I know. But I know well, I felt the I same know. way. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how the character goes. Like I mean, it's uh, it just kind of looked really. I mean, I, I kind of got like what he was like saying about how you know he wants to be like more manly, which I mean, hell. What's more manly than playing a rugby slash tag slash dodgeball game? <laughs> so, but it, you know, it's uh, I, I I feel like well, we finally got the full team, and mm-hmm. then so that we can actually see like what a full game looks like possibly before mm-hmm. the end of the season. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see all that happen. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I think it'll they'll feel. I actually do think that their person, especially because like the other two guys that are have been on the team, the one with the pink wavy hair, and then the other guy, the big one. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't really have like personal, like very strong personalities, even still yet. And I feel like these three do, and I feel like they're just gonna event like really help round out the team. So yep. looking forward to seeing how that happens. Yep. So like in the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> all right, so that's gonna be it for Burning Kabaddi. Move on to our next show. It's uh, Mashio no Oto. <laughs> this was the show for me that I think I had the most like hype and, and wanted for next week's episode like last yes! week where you were just saying oh my god so many cliffhangers so many answers i want or so many so you know, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, was me with mashiro no oto yeah. Yeah, like, i was just like uh, no! i need next i need next <laughs> to see you perform <laughs> yeah dude, there was um, don't do this to me <laughs> dude the the song that my played was by far my favorite of the show yes, so far absolutely. it sounded so good <laughs> it did totally agree with you <laughs> But she, she I, I don't know, like the song that she played was a beast and actually sounded mm-hmm. like a really sick song. So mm-hmm. I actually, like, I'm going to probably read really about Like, I'm hoping, I'm going to be getting the OST of this of this mm-hmm. season or show mm-hmm. because it, the music is just so good. Yeah, I, no, I 100% yeah. agree with you. I want her to win. Like, I'm 100% on her team personally. I just don't feel like. I mean, the MC's team has any chance whatsoever in winning. Like, right. If they were to win, I'd be pissed. They oh, yeah. Win. I don't want yeah. them to win. Like, I want yeah. to see their performance. And I'm hyped for mm-hmm. it, but I don't want yeah. them to win. Like mm-hmm. you guys yeah. said. I, I feel like I feel no like they'll way. do, like, the team, like, the team, like, they'll do okay. They'll do, but I think the whole thing will come down to, like, MC's, like, uh, his solo play. I think that's kind of, like, mm-hmm. where it's, it's like, meant to be uh, or yeah. meant to go. Uh, yeah. I, the one, the one thing that's, like, there's a lot of, like, the only part that I hated about this, where this the show continues, like it keeps doing every episode, where they make really scene like th- there's certain scenes that are really over dramatic that don't need to be dramatic. Uh, I'm I wish What's I the, wish I like example. Do you have I wish I would have noted like I wish I would have noted this episode, but the previous episode was when like when uh, MC was just kind of like wandering around just doing his own thing, mm-hmm. and then and one guy just like, thought like he didn't. Yeah, he didn't like want to be there. Like, there's no chance of winning. It's like, dude, what the fuck? He just walked away. I was like, he doesn't need to hold your hand. And then so, so and then, 
Are you talking about the are you talking about the glasses girl for this episode? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, Exactly. So I I wish I would have put that note down. It was basically like her kind of whole situation was like I just felt it it wasn't it didn't need to be that dramatic. Yeah. Like it didn't need to be like that intense. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of focus Mm -hmm. on it of the flashbacks and all those things, and it's just like, hey. Yeah, focus like, that you know anger somewhere else forehead right <laughs> like, like 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 i'm okay with like those scenes like bringing them up but th- i feel like this, this show is so much better with the comedy and slice of life like you mm. don't have to make this dramatic like yeah. it just it feels like it's that good like you can still have like mm. those like dramatic like dramatic like a little bit like a little bit like, kind of over the top but you don't have to just fucking dig right into it yeah i agree but i'm still liking um, the show anyway i'll let you guys talk sorry i spoke way too much no no not at all man um I'm in the same vein. Like this is a show that I've really continued to have grow on me and, and really continue to enjoy like week over week as we're kind of getting to the different climaxes, especially of this tournament. Um, I think for me, the one thing that I guess I'm interested to see how they continue to bring into effect is I feel like a lot of this tournament has focused on like new characters um, yeah. in the sense of one, obviously, you know, we all want to kind of see the face off between um, the one girl from the the hometown that had the phenomenal mm-hmm. performance in this week's episode but then we mm-hmm. had the guy before uh that also oh, played God. this episode <laughs> that was just like you know super pompous just like feeling himself <laughs> to the max yes. um and like, the okay. cutie patootie before yeah. him too yep yeah. yep so it's like they're introducing this wide array of different you know shamisen players that mm-hmm. you know I- i'm hoping that they're not just kind of one-offs and then they don't do much with them because i i really enjoyed you know the different facets or kind of attributes that they really own in their performances um but yeah it's just it's been a lot of fun and i I really can't wait to see what's to come and that's why again like i said at the very beginning like i need it i need it now like (laughs) give it to me i I can't believe i forgot about that guy that was really into his music (laughs) yeah uh yeah it's i i I just started laughing i was like damn i was like fuck this guy yeah so. No, I, I do like the character personalities. I, I like how they're actually like, like uh, making them very different. They're not like none of them are really like similar whatsoever. It's good. If anybody is watching this, it's also senior on ice. If that guy reminds you of Chris, <laughs> you should leave a comment below because I don't <laughs> think that you could separate them. Like the entire time, it was just straight Chris up there. But anyways, <clears throat> I think it's really oh my god! What next yeah. episode? They finally get to play, right? Yeah, yep, so... I can't wait. I'm sure it'll still be good, but I I just don't feel like they they should not win. No, they can't. I I think they, they should make it by this round on like a a fluke of you know MC's just ability carrying them through, and then yeah, I think like we said, you know, we really want to see the the childhood friend get her, you know, oh, Mai's, validation. Mai's yeah, yeah. my validation. There's no way because they're they're all they're all like experts too. Like they're all like yeah. basically like they're all just uh, you know top notch players, and then yeah. you got a a bunch of fucking. Uh, of uh, just scrubs on yeah. MC's team. <laughs> and I, I, anything too, like winning like one round will give a lot of validation to the rest of the main mm-hmm. character yeah. group of, you know, them kind of coming together. The one uh, Kaito showing his parents that he can, you know, focus mm-hmm. his efforts and in, in things into a, a different thing other than becoming a lawyer or a doctor or whatever they want him to become because his soccer career didn't pan out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't think it should move further than that, at least in the group stage. And then for the single stage, like, you know, that's all hands um, off. That'll be its own separate kind of <laughs> thing that I'm really excited to see the different characters and you know pieces of uh, music that we get to experience. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, but I actually like the music more as a team team aspect because my song was like I I I actually replayed it a couple of times because it just sounded so good. It did. Yeah, yep. I loved yep. it. I like how they made it sound more modern. I was like, okay, I'll take mm-hmm. more modern then. Give me more. It's just <laughs> please. It's funny in the sense of how they try to equate it to, you know, like these like environmental kind of things, but it really is mm-hmm. like that. It's such a breath of mm-hmm. fresh air. Oh, yeah. Which I think is probably was... why we're all vibing with it so well. Well, it was yeah. just so different than anything else they've played so far. Mm-hmm. It was the one that really like actually was able to stick out. Anyway, yeah. uh, I'm very excited for next episode. I want to finally see them play. All right. So that's going to be it for Mashuna Ulto. Uh, let's move on to our next show. It's called Megalobox. Hmm. I think I think this is just like <laughs> this is probably like my anime of this just of the season, man. I love this show so much. This was definitely the number yeah. two spot of like, all right, I need to know where we're going next now. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. The 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 part that I thought like um I, I, everything I like about it, but I was kind of wishing or hoping that 
Somebody else would have been the villain besides like another like tech company in a sense. <laughs> yeah, that's well. definitely the, the weakest part of like we're kind of repeating season ones. Yeah, and especially like this guy, I fucking hate too. Like I hate this guy, man. Like, like, like you're gonna leave like last like the last scene of the episode of this fucker just dancing, doing a stupid ass dance. <laughs> I thought I actually liked it because it shows how big of a scumbag he is. Like just an absolute douche, you know. And, and even in the meeting that he had when um the wife came to him and he was talking about you know Mac kind of having this other series again where he just completely reverts to this primalistic yeah, animal shit. and it's like now causing danger to her and 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 the son and him being like oh that's okay like you know talk to us as much as you want and then as soon as they leave they're just like all right how much time do we lose like we got to get back to the plan and stuff i'm just oh like you f- like corporate <laughs> fuck like you slime ball hey man it'll feel better when he gets taken down hey man that's a that's a silicon valley special right there Hey, man, I'm like, yeah, I, maybe it's because I live in that environment. And I just know it all too well sometimes. But, yeah. um, but, but I think we all we all said that this was going to happen too. that Mac was going to win. I don't I mean, think you yeah, said that. It I don't was, know if it I was kind of being I set like, up that, oh, you know, okay. I was being I like, thought everybody kind of. I, well, I, I talked about this sure. Mac attack being something, you know, obviously related to the uh, the M, the neural implant causing yeah. him to just go into this insane like fit of rage. Yeah. Um, I kind of like wanted. Uh, go ahead, David. I just I kind of wanted the set to be like again, like the rematch between between Joe and and Lou. But I guess we're not gonna get that. It sounds like yeah, that that shit ain't happening. Lou's gonna like be now... freaking potato man for the rest of the season. It sounds yeah. like now it's, it's like it's like Mac versus Joe, and like I'm still like yeah. curious too. What's the connection? Like I guess. I didn't realize who, I guess, I didn't realize that Mac was, he was an immigrant too. So I guess that could be Yeah, so it's interesting that you mentioned that because I know last week I had like kind of the theories or trying to be a prophet of like, oh, you know, is he related to Joe in any way or is there anything further? And so I actually went back to last week's Reddit thread and a bunch of people Mm -hmm. said that Mac is actually in the first episode of season one. Oh, really? Holding a duffel bag, watching the like video projector um of like oh i don't know if it's a God. fight inviting joe i didn't yet gone back but like everybody's like oh yeah i just went back like he is there that is him so wow he has you know he, he was stuck in there from from episode one of the very first season that's crazy um, so well, that'll probably answer the reasons of why he kind of has this respect for joe and wants to fight him i thought so. he, was, he like related to chief because they had the flashback of like chief yeah, doing the, the same the hummingbird oh, too. when they're both praying the, and the, stuff. the pose yeah, and the hummingbird true. but it's like i mean the hummingbird is because they're from the same culture but i think yeah i think think of joe it's like because joe is was seen as like it's just the hero because he represents the common people yeah i guess like, that's the thing for me too is like i'm sure there's some cultural significance of the hummingbird that I just don't know as a viewer of like God, what it is supposed to Johan, represent man. and like yeah yep. exactly i know right <laughs> Um, I mean, how do you guys feel with how probably the rest of the season is going to turn out? I feel like it's pretty predictable. Like, yeah. obviously, yeah. you know, Joe's going to want to want to, you know, get not revenge, but want to, you know, stick up for Lou because obviously Yuri can't do it. He's, you know, in his wheelchair. So unless he gets the brain implant, too, you know, <laughs> and they I think, duke it out. I think, again, it's just, it's just like it's a character development show now. So, like, I don't really mind it being predictable plot wise. It's just like yeah like, i don't know i've just, just really enjoyed the way that that's that we've just seen joe this whole season like it just made me super excited to see what happens next so i'm just i'm so invested in what happens to joe and like no yeah. i mean i think if anything like obviously the fight will happen joe's probably gonna wear chief's yeah. uh armor so it brings yeah. that you know relationship back into play and then you know who knows what Max fate is going to be if they're going to, you know, unveil that, you know, oh, shocker again, this corporate company isn't doing things for, you know, humanity's <laughs> best interest. They're doing it for money and it is, you know, taking him over. Yeah. So I don't know. And, and like, I really do, I don't care about Yukiko and her brother's involvement again. Like, I feel right, like they're right. just Dude, there I to just... be that counterpart of like, oh, we've done evil stuff in the past. So we recognize evil stuff. And, yeah. you know, the brother being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to drop my hypothesis on like them doing messed up shit. And it's like cool yeah. like, I, like i just I don't still, really like, care don't remember what he did last season at all he was like, he was a fighter he was he was a fighter last season okay, so him and like, joe fought i kind of i kind of thought that but like i just i couldn't remember because he's such a forgivable character so yeah right like, and that's how i feel like with th- with this you know reintroduction it's just like okay you're gonna be very forgettable you're just there to you know help bring the issue to light like you don't really serve much further substance than that yeah and i think yeah I that's mean, right 
And then I guess, like, I mean, at least with Yukiko, like, I see her, like, I think she she's trying to be, like, have have moral standards. It's just, it's just like she's caught between, like, that and, like, in running her, her grandpa's company. So I can see more, like, Yukiko, like, actually being, like, more, like, like, more torn apart. And, like, how she does feel bad about, like, what's happening with Mac and all. Whereas, like, just feels like her brother, it's, like, he's just, he's just in it just, just for other reasons. Not because he actually cares yeah. about other people. <laughs> She also um, seems like she has like no like uh, a lot less power, kind of like with uh, like decisions and stuff. Because she seems like she's in these meetings, but she just never says anything. They're definitely taking a more hands off approach. Yeah, and you know, obviously season one where she was kind of like the maestro, you know, pulling all the strings exactly. Yep. Um, the only thing, other thing I wanted to mention is they did mention again. I think like a typhoon coming back. Oh yeah, again. yeah so I wonder too, if that's gonna so... have any like experience where like the typhoon is maybe gonna happen like during the fight with joe and mac and maybe that oh causes god further i was gonna bring up then. I, didn't, oh, I, didn't, I was gonna bring up the typhoon but i didn't even think about that part like I'm yeah because like because the gym's already already like still like um, still pretty much in shambles, in shambles. Joe's <laughs> one man he's only gone so far <laughs> so I'm, I'm wondering if it's gonna be like the restaurant this time like, this restaurant can be destroyed that's like the only like thing basically yeah, I mean, like, only yeah. thing that's left that would yeah. be the worst thing if like joe is you know caught up in the fight with mac and then something happens to the kids again and like he just he just can't win like he wins the fight and he thinks like oh things are done differently and then maybe some tragedy happens or, an, or another thing of... man this is this is this is gonna be your profit time justin you got I mean, this well i mean <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't profiting uh you know the relationship between uh mac and joe correctly so i, I don't uh, think just, i'm gonna get things yeah, here this but time I, like this I can't is like help such a perfect feel, setup. This is yeah, the perfect I can't help setup. but feel with like how we got introduced into this thing of like it just being like such a downfall of Joe, and then now you know this is him kind of bringing things back from yeah. where he was. I feel like the show, in a weird way, like can't end happily because I feel like they tried to do that with season one. Like you were saying, Chen, like the last part we saw of season one was like they were having a party, they were all you know happy go lucky. And for some odd reason, because, you know, they kind of burned us and show us that things didn't work out, I can't help but feel like, okay, that might happen again oh, in some God. weird way. <laughs> but I could be very well wrong, and it could be all sunshine and rainbows. So we'll see. Well, it's like, it's no. just a reminder how much this world sucks, too. So Right. <laughs> I think that's the big thing, is, like, you have your wins, but at the end of the day, I think, like... I think that's what they were trying to just kind, of, kind of trying to do with, like, with like the downfall. It's like, like you, you can't be all happy because, like, even if you are having a party, like, the world still sucks, so... Like, yeah, to have the day after the, the party and go back to the shitty world. Yeah, and it feels like, you know, obviously people's, like, standards of living in the different class system hasn't gotten any better. There hasn't been, like, any improvement in that yeah. regard. Yeah. Oh, um, and but uh, going back to Mac, I thought, like, when his, like, Mac time, I thought it was basically something where uh, I thought it was, like, maybe, like, the company that was, like, messing around with, like, some sort of, like, uh, like input or something with, the, like, the brainwave or whatever it was. And, like, mm-hmm. in a sense, like, they were almost taking control. I thought it was like something with that, but oh, it like sounds like control. Yeah, like, yeah. Or something I mean, that kind of goes with yeah, that. Yeah, there's definitely some trigger of sorts because you know they showed when the wife was like knocking on the glass, like that, like that triggered noise. it again. Yeah, yeah. I-, I like how when she brought it to them too, it's like, oh, he like reverts to a child. It's like that's way past a child. Yeah, was, like, he was a, definitely trying to <laughs> trigger. An animal. I mean, you know, you can't blame her. Like, imagine putting a situation and your husband's literally just like shoving your son over and just like yeah. inhaling food and. Well, I just meant more of like her term of view. Like it's like he wasn't like a child there. He was definitely like yeah. a, just an animal. But I think he just doesn't want to call it what it is because it's someone that you you know you love. Like you but wouldn't want to say well, like my husband's fucking lunatic. I mean, <laughs> like what have you guys done to him? I mean, but that is what it is, right? You know. Yeah, it's like you, I mean this, they did put something in his brain. You think you'd want to call it how it is? Yeah. <laughs> it's like obviously this isn't the first time it's happened. I'd be like, yo, I'm getting my son the fuck out of here. Like you're about to kill him. <laughs> God, and, and I hope yeah, they don't, exactly. I hope they don't get, go that dark. Oh, I, know, I thought like when when he was like losing it, I thought he's like, oh man, the kid's I dead. Thought, right? Yeah, I thought the kid was dead. Like he's gonna grab the kid and just straight like, yeah. You know, I thought that's what water, that was water be. watermelon Damn. squash. That. Yeah, Str- Str- you called me. You called me dark. I wasn't even thinking that far. I, oh, I think I think I watched too zero, many dark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I really thought, you know, good fate. old good old rider from fate zero if yeah. nobody's watched fate zero there's a character <laughs> called rider old, that girl you will know butcher. that character. oh no caster uh, caster sorry okay uh, caster destroys that kid like yeah yep. basically just yep. yep that's when i found out that anime children do die <laughs> yeah kids aren't safe <laughs> nope but uh no very very excited still to see where this show is going oh, yeah. um you know it keeps in the hype category and even though things 
feel like they can be predictable, it always finds a way to, yeah. you know, subvert like, those predictabilities. I, like, I still feel like this 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 season has been way more solid than the first season. Like, it, we're, we're, what, four episodes left? And I think huh? they it, it hasn't had a bad episode yet. I still enjoy oh, no, we have five. We have five. I still enjoy the first season. I felt like it was very, like, consistent until the ending. So, oh, yeah, it was still solid. But I feel like this yeah. show has held up a, a lot better than the first season. This one's better for me from like a emotional standpoint, yeah. I guess, in yeah. character development, where like the first season is a good development of like Joe as a fighter. Yeah. And oh, yeah. building, you know, to the top of getting his own kind of um, status as yeah. like a citizen. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, we shall see. Yeah. We so shall that's see. That's it for Mega Box. It's one of those cliffhangers I, I, I get, really get, get, get resolved, so I'm going to play <laughs> even more. Be what it is comes next week so more about mac next week oh uh, it's yeah. the worst because it's the longest wait too with it being so it is days. it yeah. is <laughs> so that's gonna be it for mega Locks. move on to our next show it's called hige hero uh, dude i just want to say like, <laughs> i was not a fan of this week's episode i just want to say like, i know man, we said that last week but <laughs> like man you can, like just all the girls here just i just i feel like you should, terrible. You'll, 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 you'll just be single just be single and find some other girl <laughs> he's better than all of them <laughs> just find some other girl like there's, there's more than three girls in your life sir you can you can have other options yeah yeah that whole scene of you know the one very uh forward co-worker making him add her number to his phone and everything i was just like oh, i hate this like <laughs> just took me out of her and then her having the scene at you know the company during lunch and you know, kind of going off the rails and causing a scene there. Like, it's really making me dislike her character and feeling like it's just she's like, feels just so, get out of the equation. Like, she feels no so characters. pointless. We don't, we don't need you. Exactly. Like, she um, does nothing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, at least it's just at there least, to pad like unnecessary time. Like, at least like, our, that time could be used for Sayu's background. <laughs> like, at least Goto yeah. like is there to comfort Sayu and like be like the older sister figure. Like, she doesn't yeah. she doesn't even do that. So I, I like how. I like how Mishima called Goto creepy. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, like, yeah, right? <laughs> it's the, you know, pot calling the kettle black type thing. Yeah, situation. it's just like, my God. <laughs> it's like, holy um, shit, do you not recognize what you're doing? Yeah. Um, and then the whole, like, revelation of the brother, too. Like, you know, tracking her down and, like, you know, showing up in the very... That was like, very wealthy. dramatic. That was overly dramatic. And I felt like, you know, again, I, I shouldn't think things too much in, like, a realistic manner. But it's just like, okay, you're telling me, okay, the brother's like some big shot, you know, CEO execs getting chauffeured and he can't, you know, find <laughs> Sayu apart from like this convenience store. And they showed up multiple times. <laughs> and this is the one time he decides to go. It's like, no, you know, if this was realistic, like they would just wait, wait for her to leave after her shift. And then he just scoop her up or like they would find her a different way. Yeah. It's, uh, it feels so stupid. I, I like, didn't even think about that. I just thought it was really dumb how like the meetup place was the convenience store. <laughs> and it's just like they made the brother look like an idiot too when like um the one guy that used to use Sayu for sex was just like, oh, you know, go into the back. I'll protect for you. And the brother walks in. He's like, oh, so is Sayu here? And he's just like, nope, never heard of her. And it just makes the brother look dumb where he's just like, okay. And then just leaves. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. It's like basically the stuff with that. Also when like Mishima, like, because, uh, okay, so um like mishima has been has known uh the mc for like what how long it feels like they just started talking and she already confessed and it's just like damn you like know nothing of this man yeah just, <laughs> i just thought i felt like that like that not that had to like happen at all yeah. and i just feel like like if anything's gonna happen like with school day vibes david it's going to be her she's going to go on a killing spree <laughs> Like, I just feel like she just can't be trusted she's just i don't know i don't know crazy she's just annoying so yeah yeah. yeah, I just feel like the brother too is just another unnecessary like plot element to like have it now own side. I don't, story I don't know about like, unnecessary. I don't know about unnecessary. I feel like he's like the reason why she left. She ran away from home because she said wasn't her, she said it wasn't her parents. So I feel like it's oh, the brother. Oh, okay, okay. So I feel like she's like, and she, like so she's yeah. saying like like she like she can't go home, but it's not like she hates her parents. So I just feel like it's gotta be yeah. the brother. That's why she doesn't want to be at home. Dude, thing with Sayu and like the MC, I thought I thought we were gonna get like a little bit more of a break with like the sexual tension with between them, but they just brought it right back. 
And I thought like we kind of got. I thought the whole point like previously was to have that resolved. I, and I, I thought like, like we were like I knew we were going. Hold on, David. I knew we were, we were going to get back to this point, but I thought we were going to have a little bit more of a break from it instead of we just got right back into it. I was like motherfucker. Yeah. Actually, no. I did hear. Wasn't there something on Reddit where they said like the thing about uh, your show's ex girlfriend was gonna be cut because there's not enough time. Yep. No, oh, I was just gonna bring that up. Wait, what happened? Uh, what? It's like more stuff about uh, Yoshida's ex girlfriend that they briefly mentioned. Like, there's more stuff in the light novel, but like they gotta cut it because there's not enough time. What? Oh yeah. my god! Honestly, honestly, I'm okay with that. What? Because... I want to know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm more like Yoshida's great and everything, and you know he's a real stand up guy. But it's yeah. like I want to more know about Sayu. Like I want to know why she is in the situation she is. They've done you know multiple flashbacks of this very traumatic event that happened you know during her school days. Um, so I'm I'm okay if they do have to pick and choose. Like yes, it's unfortunate that we don't get to see you know the entire work as it was originally intended. But if you mm-hmm. have to cut something out, like I'm I'm okay with that. Like it's like, just another character being same, added to the cast. Same here. Like I'm I'm the one I've been saying since the beginning. Like I like this is Sayu's story, so I need to treat it like yeah. it is. No disrespect yeah. to Yoshida. No. Again, but I was going to say great this, MC, this, but... to Stren, like, I don't know, just like when, I just feel like authors, they cannot resist the temptation to keep bringing back that sexual tension, like, even though, like, for this type of like, story, like, no. it, sh- it shouldn't happen, but it feel, I feel like, it's like they, they just cannot resist the temptation. Yeah. Like um, they, so. they, they they don't need to do it. Like it's you know it's an interesting story. Like it basically they can't, they can't resist. It's right? Definitely it's, odd. It's so, yeah, it almost yeah. feels like in some way it's the creator not living out like fantasies and it's, 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 like it's, 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 it's like him pushing pushing it. Not like how it should be naturally in the story. It's just like the creator. Yeah, yeah. He, him pushing. Yeah. Or maybe so. yeah, he just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This this like the show. Like I'm gonna finish it, but I'm just it's more like kind of like just a coast. Um, it's more to just kind of get through the I season. Still, like, I, I'm not gonna. I mean, I didn't have much. I didn't really think much about it, like when I first heard about. It, so I, I will give it props. Like it's much more interesting than I th- initially thought it would be. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. got, it got me into it. So like, I definitely give it props for that. And I still like it's still like a good show in general. It's just like just these it's, issues. It's becoming, <laughs> yeah. It's these becoming issues, generic. The issues that we keep talking about, they're starting to be more consistent, which is the problem. Yeah. So it's it's basically just becoming like another generic like, rom com, which which is unfortunate. Yeah, like like Yoshida is a great character. Uh, I like Sayu. I do not care about any of the other cast. Yeah. So. Yep. Sorry, not sorry. Who you can't can't support your girl Goto. <laughs> yeah, like I got nothing against Goto, but I just feel like no, nah, something's off. <laughs> no, yeah. but visually, ten out of ten. Because <laughs> that's all that matters, I guess. Truth. Truth. <laughs> all right so that's gonna be it for Hige hero let's move on to our next show um justin you want to just talk to about i'm as far as so what about about your partner yeah. here <laughs> yeah without uh my brother in arm coup it'll be a, a little light for this my, week's, my uh, brother's discussion yes <laughs> um so let's see um this week's episode was pretty good we got um some good insight into more of the lore and kind of inner workings of the different groups within this series um most particularly um the work of potimus the king of the elves as uh shin and his group finally got brought to this elf village and 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 met him there after thinking that he was killed but apparently he had a like body doppelganger or some crazy shit it wasn't his main body um so basically long story short was with the elf village we learned that like a bunch of the other reincarnations from uh, the classroom were being brought there from uh, their sensei, who is also, you know, a member of the elves, or I think Potimus's daughter. Um, And they kind of had their, you know, small reunion. Um, We got some scenes of uh, Potimus being, you know, kind of this uh, neutral-sided character that, you know, does good in some regards, but also is kind of potentially evil in terms of what he's trying to accomplish with the knowledge that he has with reincarnations and his absolute kind of despising of arachnids and specifically ariel the demon lord arachnid um so we'll kind of you know see what's further at play there uh from kumiko's end though um she you know continued to kind of be overwhelmed with the growing worshiping following that she's that she's starting to uh get uh with this village of people you know coming to her giving her offerings uh she has like bodyguards now from the local village 
Um, but that all kind of immediately takes takes a backseat when she feels um, Ariel, the demon lord, starting to come after her again. Uh, and so in a quick flurry, Kumiko decides to warp back to the uh, labyrinth and have a final face off with the queen spider who has since been weakened due to Kumiko's uh, parallel minds that have kind of been way eating away at uh, the queen spider's spiritual body. Um, so Kumiko had that final face off there and was finally, you know, able to defeat the queen spider and absorb all of her experience, which as we saw in this week's episode was a lot. So it seems like Kumiko is going to be getting another really big buff. Um, and the way that they ended off was, um, Kumiko knowing that Ariel is still coming for her and them going to have uh, another confrontation. So I'm really excited to see what happens there. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It kept the comedy really in check, which I think previous episodes had suffered for and really kind of um, been a detriment to moving the plot forward. Uh, but the last few episodes and especially this week's episode was uh, really good. So excited to see what we get to see more of. Um, and yeah. So once we do get Ku back, uh, it'll be good to get his insight too and see if he's been digging it. Quick question: Is Ku's predictions coming true, like this week or uh, recently? I mean, like he said, it's like it's hard to even predict. Like things are just coming out of the woodwork still. Of just like we think we know, you know, one thing's at play, and then the rug gets completely pulled out from underneath us. So Ooh. I think the the jury is still out there. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see because, you know, Ku's big theory ended up not coming to truth in terms of Ariel's <laughs> um, identity. So we just don't know. But again, we have 24 episodes, so we have that going for us. All right. In a positive or negative way, depending how it all, uh, oh, how all it spins out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the way you uh, put, it, put it that way, but. Well, I mean, I guess I'm just putting it that way because, man, like the world's just getting bigger and bigger and there's so many like different groups now that we're learning about and it's just like oh man okay like, it doesn't sound like, it's, it's a big journey <laughs> like it doesn't sound like this show's that like that bad at all <laughs> oh no 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 it's not, not saying bad. it's bad it's, but it's just like, like it's it's an odd like thing in the sense where it's like you think you you start to think you know what's going on and then it's just like lol nope you thought and it's just like <laughs> wait what the fuck and yeah. then you find yourself you know waiting for more answers um, right. But it, it's been fantastic. And I know at the, the beginning, you know, the CG was something that was like a big concern. Now it's like it's barely even used as much in the last few episodes. And like, oh, nice. it doesn't even really detract from it. So it's a it's a good show. But I um, mean, it wasn't even a CG. It was just like just, you know, just another isekai. So it's that's like... true, too. I, I think this one's good in the sense that it's an isekai that happened to you know, the classroom. So there's a lot more characters. It's not just one individual. Like, yes, they do focus a lot on Kumiko and Shin as like the two protagonist reincarnations. But I think having that supporting cast that all comes from the same world really helps a lot. At least in my my opinion, I, I definitely have enjoyed it more in that regard than just like, oh, one person gets reincarnated or transferred to a different world. So. All right. Yeah, that's all I all I got for this week. But again, once we do get Koo back here, interested to see his thoughts and if we're continue to be on the same page or maybe if he steers a little bit a different way based on what we learned. All right. So that's going to be it for I'm as far so what? Uh, move on to our next show. It's called My Hero Academia. Dude, this was my favorite episode so far. Because of your boy, Bob also, Will. Yeah, that and I also thought like if there was going to be an ep- if there was going to be a team to, to keep the fight to one episode, it was going to be Bakugo's team. <laughs> and it ended up being like less than like the ep- than like the full episode as well. I mean, sh- <laughs> I'm just I'm just biased, man. I still don't like Bakugo, so but yeah, I love Bak- he, Bakugo. Bakugo feels he, like he did good this episode, but still, it's like it's just the attitude I really don't like. <laughs> like of all the fights we've seen so far, it feels like Bakugo is like the only one who's like really actually changed in a sense where he or he's actually changed. Like because the the other the other like. Uh, the other um, characters, like they, like they, they improved obviously like, with their techniques and stuff like that. But it feels like Bakugo changed more than just his, te- his techniques, but also like changed like like how he does stuff, like mm-hmm. how he never really worked with the team, how he was always just expecting that the team would have to basically support him in a sense. But it was actually like Bakugo re- like reaching out and saying, you know, hey, I got you guys' back, and if I get in trouble, I- like you get my back. Which I think I f- actually feel like you know, from what we know, Bakugo, that's pretty fucking big of Bakugo to say. Yeah. yeah, and it, I, I think it's nice in the sense that 
you know, I get David's point of like Bakugo's kind of tendencies and, you know, uh, <laughs> actions as a character. Like you're either going to love it or hate it at the end of the day. I love even, it. you know, to your point, <laughs> sorry, and of his growth, you know, he still is a, it ends up being a dick at the end of the day. Like he's relying on people, but he's still using him, you know, as like stepping stones and everything. And he's just like, oh, thanks, help. So... <laughs> With the kick. And then my favorite part was when he's yelling at Deku. He's like, oh, don't stay in front of me. And then, and then Deku just like, I'm not even like, in front of you. That's, <laughs> yeah, why, right. that's why I, I, that's why I hate his, his obnoxious attitude. Like, I fucking uh, love it. Oh, I love it though that dick. Deku, you know, is continuing to build this this backbone of his. Yeah. One, you know, and that interaction, you know, uh, Bakugo's like, hey, I'm moving forward. Like, you know, I'll see you later. And he's like, nah, man, like, I'll keep right up with you. And he's just like, <laughs> shut up. And I'm just like, yeah, Deku, that's right. Like, don't don't let Bakugo, you know, just run the parade here. Like, you show him what's up. Yeah. Um, but I definitely agree with Threaten's, you know, uh, comments where he's definitely growing as a character. He's showing, you know, that reliance on everyone. It's not just the Bakugo show at the end of the day, even though he he carries out that mannerism that it is. But he is having, you know, that that change of um, kind of heart, if you will. Mm-hmm. Of it's it's more than just him. Yeah. So. He's like he's still Bakugo, but he's actually like like he's actually like, as he's a, a team, team player. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Like he said, he he wants total victory. <laughs> Yeah, because no he captures. could have, he could have just completely, you know, used them as bait, like you were saying, and just, you know, yep. use that in a different regard. But he totally relied on the skills and put more thought into like each of their abilities and how yeah. that can, you know, maximize his own ability. Dude, so. Their team was like perfect too. <laughs> yeah, like their team of four was basically just spot on. Yeah, it's it's definitely not going to be as balanced uh, as we saw at the very end of the episode with uh, Deku and his, you know, ragtag team of. Uh, Dude, what an awful with, fucking team. Uh, <laughs> I like uh, how they even they even uh, mention it too. It's like, man, we have no fucking chance. <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's this one thing I appreciate. It's like, thank thanks thanks, Fat Girl, for keeping this one episode. Yeah. Yeah. That was, so. yeah, that was nice. I, I'm sure this like these next up like there's obviously it's not gonna get wrapped up in one episode. This is the Deku show. Yeah, it's it's gonna be multiple show episodes. Oh, that's like that's basically like half the season right here on just like this yeah. this, this classroom yeah. training. Yeah. I mean, with what what I know, I would say two episodes probably sounds about right. And and that would make sense for, like you were just saying, David, like half the season. Because I had thought, like, with knowing what this arc kind of covers, that would be, like, the most format that makes sense of, like, <laughs> you know, this training being half the season, and now the second half of the season is going to be this next kind of arc in focus. So at least you guys made it you sticked around you know the, the light is at the end of the tunnel and as, it's just uh, like i think me and taylor are saying the, the light has been brighter and brighter with these it's last just, well, it's good, like for me it's like the last season is underwhelming so then and then going being of this season it's like the first 10 episodes is this training it definitely like, sucks oh god <laughs> we are definitely fortunate of small and now readers i'm just like I'm at, I'm at that stride mindset i was like god damn it like i know about the sunk cost fallacy but i it's too much i can't beat psychology like i cannot <laughs> just drop it <laughs> yeah. Dude, but at least like the next episode david they have, they have your boy that just fucking just is obnoxious as all hell i, I forgot the guy's him. name Mon- Mon- see, yeah. see he's he's yeah. obnoxious yeah. because he's he's really i don't know i think he's funny man just i love his i love that guy so <laughs> he's good. you have he's him so, next he's episode. so obnoxious it's to a fault but it's like yeah, yeah. So you have him next episode, David. So that there guess. is a positive. I mean, I only like when he when he's like when he, he keeps like trying to gloat to class A, but he doesn't. But he can't do anything. But like, I don't oh, really care man. about his actual like quirk or like him oh. fighting. So, <laughs> yeah. gotcha. So. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I have much more, but I, I, this is this has been my favorite episode so far. And uh, like now, I, I'm actually gonna. Be, I'm actually every time I, like Deku's on screen, I'm gonna be excited. So is the best boy so yeah and i also want to see like shinzo more as well like shinzo like, shinzo's like whole kind of character is just really interesting to me and i just want to know more about him i mean he's 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 an op so like i assume we're gonna see so much more of him like yeah he's like the main character in like the picture like yeah. he's like the main focus in it what else was there there was a there was one more thing i wanted to comment on but uh, i don't oh and then it also showed like that that uh you know, Deku's quirk is going to go nuts. Like, it's not going to work out. Mm. So I'm kind of interesting to, interested to see, like, what is, what one, what kind of causes it, and what, hap- like, what becomes is of it. it. Is, I, it I, like, oh, is, is it, be, is it being a problem now? I thought it was only <clears> because he was, like, it was that, that one time he was sleeping, but is it, like, acting up now? 
about her. No, I remember he was like mentioning it. He said like, you know, he just mentioned kind of like on his abilities were on edge. And he told he told Almighty about it, but I don't think it was acting up now. So I don't know. Oh no, it's no next episode. Yeah, preview. The preview showed like something was up. Oh, oh did okay. they? I didn't see. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I don't watch the previews right, for my hero. Spoilers, <laughs> spoilers, sir. I don't even watch so, previews for AOT, man. So uh, <laughs> AOT, AOT is the worst. For anybody what? listening, if you haven't watched Dragon Knight, never watch the the previews. All right. Well, I, I will not mention previews again, just to avoid that. Uh, I, yeah, I am going to make a prediction though. That I, I I do think that Deku's team is going to lose, only because there's they've they have two wins. The other team has uh or yeah. Two, or they have two wins, uh, one loss, and a draw. Yeah, it would so make, you, think you gotta make it. They're, they're gonna lose. Yeah, balances gonna, out. Yeah, they're gonna lose, so it balances everything out because this is that type of show. <laughs> <laughs> so, Everybody wins. Well, it's, yeah, and I also you know, feel. It, I also feel like his Deku's quirk is just gonna go nuts. Somehow you say that, Stran, but like before, like Hero Academia was so praised for like subverting expectations. So, like, yeah, they I hope... were. <laughs> uh, like that's such a shame it's like that like this was a show that was not supposed to be that so well yeah i don't you, know if you, it's gonna happen but i think so like, i just come on feeling. come on you can do better come on yeah well for this though they can just say like you know oh they only lost because you know deck was quirk went nuts and he like knocked himself or, out. i mean you i know? guess because his team sucks but that, that well we're not gonna say that too, yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll just blame mineta at the end of it yeah right okay. he's the easy scapegoat yep <laughs> <sighs> But we'll see. And also, they, they did say, like, Shinzo has to, like, what, do well to get into the hero course. Even though I think, like, no matter what, I think he'd be getting into Does the hero course well? I think regardless. There's just, like, I think there's just, just well, actually, I don't know the details. I thought it was just because he was, he was yeah, giving the opportunity. Remember. He was giving the opportunity to train. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe that isn't. I don't know the right. details. I don't know. Yeah. Someone, someone yeah. can correct me. I don't care. Yeah. But I, I feel like, though, I feel like even if Deku were to win, then I, I think then Shinzo would probably be in the main cast. I don't think you're just going to bring him in and just throw him away just for like a for an arc sure. uh, or just for him to like fail. But I, you know, who knows? Like I was, assu- I was assuming because because uh, I mean, I, I, I thought we were have more about the League of Villains stuff. So I was assuming he's going to be more involved in the League yeah. of Villains, but maybe, maybe not. So we'll see. Yeah. We will see. Yeah, honestly. I'm with you at this point, David. I just want to see the League of Villains. I don't even like the League of Villains. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, man. Get rid of the school stuff. Yeah. yeah. They definitely they definitely looking back on it could have balanced better of like back and forth between stuff. Which yeah, they could give us I some, think they like, did, you know, at the very beginning when they were showing like Hawks and Dobby. And then when it completely goes, you know, to the the school test, and now it's just like, like yeah. all right, here's ten episodes of school test. We, we had, all out. Like yeah. we had we had Gentle Criminal and then we had the the two uh, one or two episodes of like of like endeavor and endeavor. Hawks, and then and yeah. then it's just the school stuff so yeah oh yeah i completely forgot too that the season opened up with endeavor going back to his home and you know trying to rebuild things there and yeah. that just they're just like and okay we're cool just, we're just left really work <laughs> yeah oh but, man anyway i'm gonna continue the show so that's gonna be it for my hero academia and then um uh, if anyone wants to shout out any other shows floor is open it's all yours i guess uh, yeah go ahead Sorry. uh real quick um uh, with shaman king um where that was the probably the quickest training arc i've ever seen in my life <laughs> it was oh, basically so, one, so fast, it was so one episode than, so faster than my hero academia Yes, uh, it was wrapped up in less than an episode. <laughs> One episode, power boost. <laughs> yeah, basically like a giant power boost, not just like yeah. a like a minor one, like a big fucking power yeah. boost. So, th- but I assume with that though, they're going to show flashbacks like in the next fight. I'm assuming like of what his training mm. was. I would guess. I would also hope so because like, yeah, I'm, I don't, I'm kind of interested. I don't in remember. Happened. I feel like they are kind of tweaking things a little bit, not too much, but yeah, yeah. Like, but Yo's new like look looks pretty sick too, and I'm also glad mm-hmm. that he can actually talk to him in his in that form because i just i, I just like the samurai even though I, yeah. here i am and i can't remember his name i uh i definitely enjoyed the moments with um manta and ryu as they yeah. were kind of you know traveling out to to the yeah. countryside with with Dude. where you know yo was was training with his his family it, um by far like manta is by far my least favorite character <laughs> Oh, like, you know, I, I think he's designed to be that way. So yeah, he, I'm not surprised oh, to hear you say that. Um, I was also going to ask you, uh, of that one girl's like spirit, did that bear, red bear actually, like, was he using his nuts to attack? 
I I think so. Okay, because it was they're, they're like very comedic centric. Though, though, You're talking about the the pink haired girl, right? Yes. That's like the protector. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has the two spirit animals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like crude humor. For yeah, the show. Da- David. Like they're straight up. Like there's this bear that was like like trying to like smother. Uh, I, mean, I heard you the first it. time. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it, it was, was, just, was just not phased by the bear nuts. <laughs> yeah, it was basically like. I actually paused. I'm like, that can't be right. <laughs> that, that, I can't, that, that can't be what hey, I'm man. seeing right now. N- 90s humor hits differently. Yeah, right. you basically got a you got a bear uh, smothering it with was testicles. Different times, you have, man, all right? Yeah, then you have a fox pissing on them. <laughs> so hey, I like, I, I'm, I'm glad they kept it because that's dude, I like, like the common king. I, I, thought, I thought that was actually really, really good. Like, I honestly, I, I had nothing against this episode, but I uh, I feel like yo like you know Yo's gonna beat like this next guy, but I feel like he's already qualified. They haven't mentioned anything, but I assume he already won his first two matches because they haven't said anything about his record. So I'm assuming they're both going to win and both go, you know, they're both, or Yo's going to win. They're both going to get into the tournament or or wherever, or the next round and then be fine because, you know, he's, he's, again, he's, he's in the opening (laughs) and he can't be just done right here. Damn opening, man. Yeah. But if I'm wrong, it's fine. It's like still like, like, uh, the, the show's getting better for me. Nice. Anyway, sorry, that was a long time. I still need to catch up, so no, that's my all. bad. It's still so, worth it, David, hey, but I feel like... Yeah, you're all good. You can let it build, you know, a little more episodes just to, to pad catching up. You could probably watch it two times speed, uh, too, David. Um, <laughs> that's pretty the, good. The, not a whole lot. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's, very, it's, like, it's very simplistic showing. Like, they, it's not, like, over convoluted or anything. It's very mm-hmm. easy to follow, uh, but you can, you know, slow it down for the fights, which haven't been too crazy with animation yet. Yeah, right. I'm hoping that we've got a pretty tame. Yep. All right. So, all right. Justin, did you have another shout out? Sorry, uh, I kind of yeah, cut I you was, off. I was going to <laughs> quickly uh, shout out Mars Red. Now, Ooh. I know, you know, the last few weeks, um, David, you kind of asked me, like, how the show's been going, everything. And I've kind of been, you know, a little just bit hesitant, little, little just saying, like, oh, the music. Yeah. But this week, oh, man, they did a really good job of tying together uh, specifically some characters and, like, really caring for them in terms of like the plot um so this episode was really really good um and again the the soundtrack the art (laughs) it's hype it's hype for me like i i'm enjoying it i think it's something different um but it it is something where i guess you know looking at how many episodes it took to get to like oh (laughs) now it's hype like is it still you know worth kind of running through and getting to that point that i don't know um, but I, I think it deserves a shout out nonetheless of it, it did a good job of really building characters to care for. Whereas before there wasn't really enough substance to know of these characters and why I should care for them as a viewer. I feel like they really tried to like take things from like the easy picking route of things that have been done in other shows, but what they did to tie in some of these characters in this latest episode, really well done. So and then no, I know right. that everybody, everybody loves the ending song for the series because I think it's done by um, Hide, the person who did the Attack on Titan Red Swan opening. Oh, um, it, it's it's really catchy, and it, all like up. the top ten like opening ending videos that I see on YouTube, like it's always in there. Oh, like okay. the top well, let's check it out. Hide or Hyde? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it's Hyde or, or Hide. Okay, gotcha. I, I have yeah, no idea. I, I've never looked up how to pronounce his name as a, as an artist or band, but I think I'll his name is like Hide. So that's why I just would think it would be Hide, but maybe it's Hyde just play on words as well. I don't know. I, I got one of the Moriarty songs, but I didn't get any uh, Mars or Mars Red. Yeah, those are always yeah. up there too. I'm still loving, yeah. I'll, I'll still loving Tokyo Revengers opening. Oh, those are good. Those are always up there. Yeah. And then uh, and of course, Shadow's Utah. House ending is always and up there. Of course, it's uh, Ikaru. Oh, David, yep. have you heard have you heard Masha no Oto's like first opening? No. Oh my god. Okay, one you would really like that song. Also, the ending. Okay. Uh, you'd really like the I ending. Like, I like the ending a lot. Yep, I like them both. The ending's pretty unique. So, uh, I'll link them to you later, David. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Uh, and then I have one more shout out. Uh, Next gen full dive. Uh, the animation was actually like intense this one so i was gonna ask you and the only reason i was gonna ask you is when i was scrolling through anime news network i saw you know the yep. little uh, promo image and it showed like kind of like a lightning like effect yep. coming off some character and i was like yeah damn like this, this looks good animation well it's just from like a still shot that's actually the mc um oh. you find out that there's possibly ab- abilities in this 
Um, it it kind of started out. It, it started out because I guess like the goblins are currently attacking the town, and then you know the MC is excited. He's like, "Oh man, the goblins!" And you find out the fucking goblins are so OP. <laughs> like they're just like they all, they're basically like, just straight, like dude, they always are. Like in goblins, there. So, well, the, the, the things with these ones, like they're all straight up like going. Goblins. Like these ones are all straight up going like shimpo. Like you basically can't, they just disappear, and then you just see like guards like limbs getting just lopped off, Easy. and you're just like. And you're just like, what the fuck, man? This is like the beginner town, and the beginner town is being is like being this, like uh, under attack by these just crazy ass goblins. And then it basically all he's doing is just trying to like save this kid. And then he's like trying to run away from this goblin, and then something just kicks in where he just goes like like uh, just like crazy like like electric speed. And that's when like the animation kind of kicks in. Okay. And then of course you find out he's of course on like one of the worst paths, or not the worst paths, but like the path with like, with the least chance of survival. Mm. you know figures but uh, no, this episode was actually I, I it was uh it was probably like my next favorite from like the first episode like it, it feels like it's finally kind of getting some things that it's not they're, they're kind of going away from like the really bad comedy it sounded like uh earlier weeks that like, you and Koo were kind of down on it like it was like dropping down in quality but now you're saying it's well, getting back I, up well the thing is Koo always liked it but it was me and justin kind of had parts where like okay there's a dip definitely right here um but it's no it, it feels like it's actually kind of like uh um going towards something more like it's actually becoming more serious um where there's kind of like more like they still have like their comedy which i still i actually still really like their comedy mm-hmm. but if if it, it, this is just kind of like um it feels like they're finally progressing in a sense uh it, it just kind of felt like they were kind of going through like the whole thing with the game system like what happens when you die and all this other all these other like kind of like details where i'm, I'm actually grateful they went over it but we're finally done with that, like tutorial, almost tutorial garbage stuff, and then we're actually moving on to like real stuff now. <laughs> so it's 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 how picking many, up again. How many episodes is this? Oh, you currently know or total. Yeah. Uh, seven or... total. Oh, 12. 12. It... 12. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, twelve, and then there's seven out right now. Got it. Okay. But anyway, yeah. If if you're ever bored, Justin, and like uh, like a season's going know, slow for yeah. you. Well, I mean, you like I said, you know, with some shows, I could just two exit and, and get yeah. right up to it. I know uh, Kabaddi's also on my list to to catch up on and start. So gotcha. I'll let you, I'll let you know how they like the rest of yeah, next gen goes. Exactly. It could be, be just a strike where they had one good episode and it could yeah. go to crap. I think <laughs> we'll the thing see. too with you just confirming that it is only twelve episodes, it'll be interesting to hear, you know, your uh, input on where they end, where they stop. Uh, yeah, where they yeah. decide to stop is it? Yeah. So. <sighs> yep. Cool. Well, glad to hear it's uh, you know getting getting better in, in various regards with this latest episode. Yep. Um, right. But if hey. you guys have other shout outs, I think I'm good. I'm oh, all good. That's. I guess um, I'll just quickly shout out um, Demon School Irumaku in season two. Still going good. So. Ooh, nice. So, so me and Goo are still enjoying that. But I think that's gonna nice. be it for us for this week. So we're in it right here. So I want to thank everyone for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks to chat. Always fun talking to you. Yeah, Thanks thank for the you new for follower. the new follow. Exactly. Yeah, private, and, <laughs> and I actually, I should do this earlier in the show too. I just thank all the comments that for, I get every week. I always enjoy reading those. So, thanks, Ayush. guys. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> and also, uh, we should, uh, I should probably mention Discord more too, because we um, because uh, we have uh, discussions too on our Discord. If you want, if you're not just in our YouTube comments. So, thanks for everyone there too. Yeah. We we do also have like separate like uh, chats in Discord as well for the shows that we don't really um. Like we don't like cut separately, but we actually do kind of talk about it and give our our thoughts like at the end of the episode. I know Higgy Hero is kind of like one of the big ones because we have a few, we have a lot of like, class active discussions season. and that. So a lot of yeah. fun, Higgy yeah. Hero. So thanks, guys. Yep. And then I want thanks to thank, you guys. Want to thank the panel for joining me today. Thanks, thanks. Shout out to Taylor. Always, she had to leave early, always. but shout out. Thanks for being with us every week. Always a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we'll end it here. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.